All right, hello everybody, and welcome to Synthetic Dreams, the Magi RPG Cyberpunk Red miniseries. Uh, Cyberpunk, it's a game set in Night City in the dark future. Uh, it's an alternate timeline of our world history where modern society has collapsed in the 1990s and mega corporations can wield power and influence rivaling that of most governments. In this future, cybernetic enhancements are not only fashionable, they're almost essential if you want to do more than just survive. If you want to truly thrive, you need to make money. And if you're desperate or crazy or just drawn to the lifestyle, then you might become an edge runner like our group of players here. So tonight we're playing with uh, Kregums, playing our Jareth, the Goblin King and intrepid net runner of the group. Uh, we have Momo B playing Reverie, our young and idealistic med tech searching for answers to her parents' death, and the artist behind uh, all the characters that you see on the screen right now. Uh, we have Stormbeard playing Jackal, uh, the nomad wheelman of the group, the elder of the group who loves big guns and big explosions. And uh, Arcane Adam as Omen, our mysterious and masked assassin, making a name for themselves as a rising star. And Saint Jimmy Twin as Bishop, who's running a little late today, but should be here uh, fairly soon. Uh, playing Bishop, who is a uh, wide-eyed, greased-up techie who's always ready to jump into the mix. Uh, on to some housekeeping. Uh, Sunday is our season finale of Cold Blooded at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, so definitely tune in for that. Uh, this Monday, June 12th, is the start of our new Tales of Thunder game, uh, which is playing off of, it's modified off of Stormbeard's uh, Thunder, or Storm King's Stormbeard's Thunder. Thunder? Stormbeard's, Dude, yeah, Stormbeard's Thunder. Stormbeard's Thunder. That should be a, <laughs> that should be a module. Wait, I love this Stormbeard's letter. Thunder. All right, I'm going to work it. on it. I love Stormbeard's it. Thunder. Anyone? Get that's it done. It. Uh, so that's this. Uh, that's starting this Monday, and I think that's. Are we doing ten for that? Um, nine thirty. Nine thirty. Six thirty. Percent. I mean, are we doing ten? Yeah. Ten episodes of that? Is that a? Uh, um, oh, I think it's I twelve. Know. Twelve. Actually. We've got, we've up to twelve. Okay. Yeah. I so I know our seasons are getting longer for that. And yeah, <laughs> check us out on socials and on Discord. Oh, you can it, catch up. Next What's Thursday this? is uh, Hunter the Reckoning as well. Oh, right. Hunter the Reckoning. Okay, I'm so sorry about that. Yeah, so next Thursday we have Hunter the Reckoning. And is that a, a heavy price is the title. A heavy price. A heavy price. And what is the uh what are the times for that? Uh that is uh six o'clock e uh, Pacific, nine o'clock Eastern on Thursdays. Okay. <laughs> Great. Uh and if you want to catch up on our old uh the VODs of all of our uh, old sessions, you can look at our YouTube channel. You can type catch up in the chat as a chat command. Uh, you can also follow us on uh, our Discord. Join our Discord server where we are talking about the show. We are talking about all sorts of other interests and it's been growing and growing every day and I really enjoy how much activity is going on there and talking with everybody there. Um, and we've got, uh, yeah, follow us on Twitter and Discord as well. I think that's the command there. Okay. Um, and yeah, and also we have, uh, we do accept donations. If you want to sponsor this edge running crew, uh, all that money goes towards the art that you see on the screen. So please, uh, please donate because we put it to good use for artists. Um, and with that, we will get started with our game. Okay. So where we left off, last session, the crew kicked off their mission to assassinate the bomb maker known as Fuse uh, and steal a data pack from him. While they were on their way to this lair of his, uh, Bishop and Omen were able to, uh, or Bishop and uh, Jareth were able to hack Frost's phone and get in contact with a potential med tech replacement. So they called Reverie, our, uh, our med tech, uh, fresh from escaping an attack from an amateur ripper gang that wanted to take her very fashionable cyber wings. Uh, Reverie joined the team and as it seemed that their gig aligned with her own agenda and maybe simply just because uh, they needed a healer and Reverie steps up when the healer is needed. I think that, I don't know if that corrects me if I'm wrong on that assessment there. Um, 
After uh, quickly introducing themselves to each other, uh, Reverie, she told them that she had an appointment with this bomb maker, and you were uh, sent in to go and install uh, while Jareth hacked the architecture looking for... Uh, for this data. Uh, and inside the bomb maker's personal security architecture, uh, Jareth realized it looks like maybe somebody had hacked this already. Uh, with the camera access you were able to get, you were able to see that the you were able to help the team avoid some dangerous traps, uh, but you did take a ton of damage and, from the leftover black ice defenses and you were forced to leave before you can get deep enough into the system. Uh, empty handed, with uh, everything growing late, uh, Omen made the call to breach the compound. Jackal held off the security team with some like risky and surprising tactics, and the crew uh, forced Fuse to give up his data, which Omen took before executing him. Uh, on their way out, Omen destroyed the data, or did he? Was it what did did he? I'm not. I'm not sure. Was that? Nobody saw it, right? Uh, when no one was looking, he 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 crushed something under his boot, uh, and then they tossed a grenade into the den, which seemed to have set off a failsafe, a bomb that was meant to destroy the facility, uh, perhaps. And this bomb was preceded by a little jingle. Uh, this little jingle. Are you feeling Omen? <laughs> ah! Yeah, which oh, sent to tr which seemed to trigger Omen, as you remembered it from your past, a very painful past of yours. Uh, and snapping out of this haze, uh, just in time, you were able to escape the building as the explosion rocked through this building. Which brings us to right now. You are all packed into the bad omen. The bad omen being the name of uh, <laughs> of Jackal's car. <laughs> Can't make this shit up, guys. Soon, Can't. soon oh, we'll be packed. Never mind. Never mind. I'm not saying. <laughs> Jesus. And I'm and so dying. this is an expansion for some extra seats, but it's still a bit of a tight fit, right? You've got you've you've got room for everybody in this car. Yeah, it's seat six, but it's still like a uh, it's still like a sedan. You know, yeah. it sits six it seats six it's comfortably. But it's a, it's a almost like you know like if today maybe like a crossover like a mixture between an SUV and a sedan. Mm -hmm. And you hear um, vibes. you hear somebody yell, "Over there, toss her in the back, let's go!" And then the revving vroom, car engines start revving up, uh, and uh, God, I have, I have a sound effect. Uh, Who they toss? Who they toss? <laughs> and uh, and you see. Uh, you see a couple of guards or, or agents. You see a couple of dark figures pile into a car and the headlights turn on and they are coming in hot pursuit of you right now. Ooh. And, uh, and that is where we leave off with you. You are all, you are all just getting settled into the car and this is what you see. What do you want to do? <laughs> change glasses. First gotta, thing, change gotta, glasses. Gotta get them all. Uh, gotta get her ready, baby. Gotta get her ready. Uh, Omen uh, gets pushed into the car uh, by Reverie, um, and I think he just automatically slides to like the far, like right seat in the middle, I guess. Um, just because I don't, I don't normally he'd sit in the front, but I don't, I don't think that she would <laughs> like, I think she just shoves him in. Um, you're, and then you're he in gets there. to the you far can... right. And he's just kind of like, he's not saying anything. He's just kind of like looking down at, at the, the heavy uh, pistol in his hand. Uh, and he's just kind of like, just like in his, like in his own, like in his own world. And he's not, he's not saying anything. He's not doing, he's just sitting there staring for uh, a, a brief, like while, the, while we're taking off. Okay. Um, I... All right, fuckers get in. We got to go. Where's Jareth sitting? Probably shotgun because he was petting. Uh... Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, tell me, tell me where everybody is sitting. Actually, this is this is a little important. And um, let me write this down. He was in the driver's seat, but once he saw Jackal coming, he immediately jumped into shotgun. Like I wasn't touching anything. If, <laughs> if I could request this seating arrangement oh with Jareth, well, so if Jareth <laughs> is shotgun, then 
Like, if Omen is slid in first, let me get in next so I can be in the middle so I can still, like, kind of crane upwards and reach Jareth and then have Bishop on my other side. So yeah. you want to be in the middle in the is back? That... Yeah, in the middle in the back and then Omen on I'm gonna the side. I'm going to be behind the driver. I'm going to be behind Jackal. Perfect. Yeah. That way I can still reach Jareth. It's it's all ploy chat. Um, Reverie had gets motion sickness while driving, and so can't be near the windows. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So we've got Jackal up Near front, him. Omen behind, Jareth in the passenger seat, uh, Bishop behind him, and then Reverie in the middle, uh, in the back middle. Okay. I like the sound of that. Good to know. And uh, you race off. I'm assuming you race off down the road. Is there anything else that you want to prep before you get going, <laughs> uh, Jackal? As long as we're all ready to go, let's fucking put the pedal to the metal. Uh, all right. Keep it a little steady. <laughs> Don't worry, little heart girl. I'm the best driver in that city. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> well. Okay. You race off down the road and you hear the screech of tires as they are right behind you. Let's roll a drive vehicle check and see how far in the lead that you get here. Woo! 23. God, he's hot. He's so hot. <laughs> oh, I broke my cigarette. Ooh. Oh, no. And Ooh. our hearts, you bitch. No, I was going to God say. damn it. And you, you, uh, you outroll him. You managed to get, first of all, you were ready to go. You've always got a good jump on this car. Uh, but you managed to pull ahead uh, a little bit and put some distance between, uh, between the two of you here. Uh, now... Uh, Okay. Uh, now, with that, uh, a construction zone is is up ahead. Um, you could try and gain some distance by jumping a ramp that they have off to the side. Oh. Is that something that you want to do? So, <laughs> what are we looking at? Before we got in, um, Jackal voice I is going. I don't, oh yeah, this, this this is this is Chris asking the DM. <laughs> this is the Chrysler. Uh, could I have can I make a like a land vehicle tech check to see like what kind of car they're in to see if it's like if this is like a good car or if this if this jump is necessary or if we can outrun them normally? Okay, yeah, make a check. Oh, the sound effects are fucking lit. I'm there. Not 13. I know plenty of people that make this check every day. Ooh, you know, uh, you wouldn't like to judge a book by its cover. You've seen, you've seen something like this souped up before. It could be, maybe you could outrun it, but maybe it's could got... Could be one of them sleeper cars where they look normal, but under the hood, they're all too souped up. I will say it looks like a nice car. Like it does all not right, look, it right. does not look like a junker. It doesn't look flashy. But you never know if there's a monster under that hood. Right. So it's a yonder. Kind of like Jackal, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like I thought Jackal. you were going to say Omen. <laughs> uh, so, no, I'm, I I think with Reverie saying to keep it steady, I think uh, Jackal will take that into consideration and uh, not take the ramp. You're not Okay, you're not going to take the ramp. Well, not yet, not yet. Not on, not on the, the, first, uh, the first roll, you know? Sure, okay. Gotta, gotta save uh, Dukes of Hazard jumps for the end. Oh, did anybody Dukes of Hazard? Is, is that how Jackal gets in his, in his car? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Well, they managed to close the some of that distance Hot. back up. Oh. <clears throat> They're getting closer. And uh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to have you all roll for initiative. Ooh. Okay. And let's I do that me. in Foundry. If you don't is that Dex or Reflex? That is reflex. Is reflex, right? Or you can just do it on the little sword tab. Oh, that's right. right. On the little Ooh. sword tab. Man. Twelve. A little nine for I me, the baby. Two. I rolled the two. Oh, he's so good at it. Oh no. I'm, I'm in my head. Oh no, I rolled high. I die first. <laughs> it's like it's high. Yeah, you know, okay. uh, I lay there, first. be still. 
So what did you what did you roll there? Oh, you know what? Let's roll for I'll roll for Bishop. Ooh. Oh, he did not roll good. Negative two. You could roll a negative in initiative. Uh, yeah. We out here in the <laughs> negatives, huh? You have to wait till next round. So no. no. Uh, yeah, you don't get to. You he lose jumps him. out the car. <laughs> like, I'm out. And Jackal, what did you roll? Fifteen. Fifteen. I can I can roll in. Oh, you can edit it there. There you go. Yep. I think I'm not sure if you can do it, but if you right click it, you can do update combatant and uh, change. Got it. Okay, and let me just roll for my guys here on the sides. These have holes. to go. They don't have to go. They don't get a turn. <laughs> and why should they? If they're busy trying to live a quarter mile at a time. Is that <laughs> how it goes? And they're worried yeah, about uh, family. <laughs> yeah, they're worried about family. We don't give a fuck about family here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Take his keys to his mark and let him drive away. <laughs> uh... Jareth, well, you are you are first up. Although I don't know if you have anything that can hit. You don't have any. You only have a stun gun, right? Yep. So it and and by it. the way, you are pretty hurt right now. Oh yeah. So I think. Uh, I believe you're the only person with this status effect right now. But you are seriously wounded, meaning you have a negative two to all of your rolls. Damn, he got fucked. Mm -hmm. Um, I think, Jareth, if anything, if um, I feel like this isn't the first car chase we've had uh, with Jackal and his explosive uh, personality. So I'm assuming we have this thing where Jareth doesn't shoot. He just makes sure everybody else can. And <laughs> Jackal tosses him a shotgun and he just reloads it for him. And he's just stacking up. Jareth, uh, I need slugs. <laughs> I'm next to you. Uh, oh, <laughs> Jareth, I need slugs. <laughs> okay, uh, he's, you're he's, assisting he's people. Back. <laughs> um, we'll say roll for assistance right now, and we'll do a uh, uh, a D10 plus. We'll do a. Why don't we just do a, a, another reflex roll? The, oh. Yeah, I'm gonna use a luck. Mm. Well, luck resets right, every you. session, right? Mm -hmm. That's correct. Use them or, or use them or well, lose. I need them because I gotta get rid of this negative two. <laughs> Cancel out my negative two. Oh. Oh, bro. Yeah. Oh, so no. I, it's not terrible. Yeah, with an eight, that's a, it's just a straight eight. He he, baby mode. So that's okay. gonna be. Oh, yeah. uh, I think I think Jackal notices the blood in Jared's ear as he's like shaking, trying to reload. So, oh, yeah. So you try to help out and like help people reload, but you, you're not really able to help anybody with anything here. Uh, next in the order, you are going to get. Uh, you see one of the windows slide down, and the barrel of a uh, a, f a shiny shotgun barrel pointing out. Uh, they're gonna take a shot at you. Uh, at the car or at the someone so, in the car? Question you can for you: Do you mm -hmm. have bulletproof glass on your car? I do not. You do ah! not. Okay. Well, let me see. What is their distance between you right now? I'm so, please don't shoot me. <laughs> are. Oh, I gotta fix this. Twelve meters away. Okay. Well, they are going to go. Yeah, they're going to try and shoot for uh, uh, through the back window, which is uh, one of the only lines of sight that they can get on you here. Bitches. Bunch of bitches. They're shooting at me. They're shooting at you. Yes, they're shooting at you. Sick. You'll be okay. fine. You can. Duck. So. Well, if they if they in, inside the car, you can use your armor, or you can actually dodge it if your reflex is eight. If you have a reflex of eight, yeah. Uh huh. Um, yep. Uh, Fuck! It's a seven. <laughs> <laughs> well, they uh, they go on from there. Uh, that is the end of their turn. Then uh, did they hit? Next, they did not hit. Okay. Uh, next Beaches. is going to be uh, boo -boo 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 Jackal. What? You're up next. 
are I think seeing um seeing Jareth struggle and like shaking putting the slugs in, he's gonna take out his interface plug, plug it in, um, and then uh you know god damn it son he's gonna take the shotgun from jareth while so with the interface plug he's allowed to take his hands off the wheel and drive with his brain um but he's going to cast reload um on the uh, uh on the with the shotgun okay so you're gonna reload while you're doing that that'll be your turn then uh from uh, there we, we still move right you're still moving. I'm going to run your vehicles okay. at the top of the initiative order, your vehicle turn. Got, got it. Otherwise, okay. you would just be doing your vehicle maneuvers on your initiative. Sounds um, good. Okay. Uh, next in the turn order, I think, is one of them. They're going to give a shot at you with their uh, pistol. So you see the back window uh, roll down. And... The boss is dead. Get over it. Yeah, it's petty. Room. One moment here, bitches. sorry. Bitches. Dude, bitches, am I right? Yeah. I don't know about y'all, but be some bitch. Mmm, I smell skanks, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> I apologize. No. <laughs> oh! Oh, excuse me. That's the kind of skank I'm trying to smell, you know? Okay. Oh. Sorry, got a little confused with the rolling the, uh, the weapons uh, there. Uh, they do hit with the, uh, with the second shot that they have here. And it's with a heavy pistol. And oh. it does 11 damage. That is a 5d6 weapon. Does that oh. hit? To who? To Omen. Sorry, they're still aiming for uh, for Omen. Uh, 11 damage? Yes. Now, 11 Jesus. damage, you have armor on. I believe you're yep. at your... You have, have you been hit yet? No, I have, I have full 11 on armor, but that shit will shred it. <laughs> it's like... So with 11 right? like, damage, half, I, be right? I believe you... Don't take any damage. You don't take any damage. I think that j just under the threshold, you're you're safe with that hit. Lucky Ooh. bitch. Ooh. Okay. Next in the initiative order, Still who pretty. are we at? I think we are. I think we're at you, Omen. So pretty. So uh, up until this point, um, Omen's just been staring kind of down and like, like kind of muttering to himself incoherently, uh, and. Just staring at like the pistol, the heavy pistol in his hand, uh, and I think that second shot is it like shatters the window next to him, and like you know kind of pelts you know I guess a little bit of like the you know off I think it kind of like sort of snaps him out of it uh, and kind of like like wakes him up, uh, and so he's just gonna do that thing where he just like uh, kind of rotates his body with the window open now and he's just gonna pop out and like face backwards like riding the window and he's just gonna pull his arm out and he's gonna start firing uh at the driver specifically uh of the of the other car sure go for it uh and he's just kind of like holding the the oh shit bar like on the inside and he's just kind of like you know um oh, would you consider bar. would you consider this an aim shot then since i'm aiming at the driver specifically no uh, no. Aim shot only if you're aiming for the like, like their head like if or their hands. I was going hands. for a tire or something like that, like something. Exactly. Yeah, okay. All right. Yes. If you're so trying to shoot the I, tires out on their car, it's an aim shot. Yep. So I will roll to hit. Uh, this is just a straight up roll. Oh god. <laughs> Oof. He's That's back. a one. That's a one. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. And what are you? What are you attacking with? That's Omen there, baby. Uh, I was shooting at the driver of the uh, of the car behind us. What kind of weapon? It was a it was a heavy pistol, very heavy pistol. Okay. And Is it jam? your DV was fifteen for that, so yeah, that does not hit. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about the the sluggishness of the combat. I'm still trying to get a, a, a hang on this. No, no, no. You're good. Okay. We're learning. We babies. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I fire. It's rate of fire one, right? So pretty much, that pretty much will do it. I, I fire and I, I miss. Um, okay, yeah, you fire, you miss, and then we are on to Reverie's turn. Um, well, this is gonna be difficult. Um, I'm gonna describe what I'm gonna try and do, and you tell me what I need to roll for it. Yeah. Um, so kind of. I remember doing this so much like as a kid and my parents telling me to not do this when you sit in the middle seat and you're trying to get up into the front seat. Um, but, you know, there ain't no parents here to tell us no. Um, I'm right here. I'm literally right here. No. <laughs> um, so I guess I'm like, I assume there's some kind of like armrest console that I can kind of rest on as I lean sure. forward into the front of the like front cap of the car. Um, yes. And kind of, one, just, like, look over Jareth to see what the fuck is wrong with him. Um, I have a med scanner. I don't know if that helps at all. Uh, your med scanner is going to add, I think it's a plus two, or it's a, it's a modifier yeah, to your it, paramedic. Yeah, I think it just adds to my roll, but, um, yeah. for the, the, like, you know, for the RP of it, you know, she'll kind of scan him a bit while he's probably, you know really horribly loading slugs into the sh uh, shotgun mm -hmm. and um sure you can go ahead and try and stabilize his wound but stabilizing takes a minute for basic quick fixing basically okay. you know allowing him to overcome certain injuries which i don't think he has any major injuries he's just really really hurt um and that would take a minute which would mean that you can't do anything for probably most of this combat since it's three second rounds. That's fine. I think that is her priority, um, is making sure he is, you know, not on the verge of death. Sure. Um, but it also means that, uh, I assume that means I can be easily tossed around this car if I'm spending my whole turns doing this, yes? What do you mean tossed around the car? Like, you're not gonna throw me out a window, right? <laughs> Uh, I'm not no. seat belted in. Oh, oh! I mean, it's always, this is always kind of a possibility, but you know, you gotta oh, take your chances. Depends on Jackal, really, and why he I does. Know. <laughs> so. I know exactly how she's set up in the in the in the car right now, and 100. percent If we hit a hard turn, it's gonna be it's gonna be a rough time for Reverie. Well, I mean, you're, yeah, I mean, you're I'm gonna, gonna out you're, a window. So I'm not I'm not saying you're gonna go out a window, but you are definitely on, gonna on cause a mess. Yeah. You, well, that might happen, too. We'll roll for that. We'll see if it happens. Yeah, you know, if you, if you can make that happen, thank oh, you. Will oh. these things, okay? <laughs> All right. Anyway, so what do I need to roll to stabilize this poor man in the front seat? Ah, let us look that up on our cheat sheet. Paramedics? Now, mm. I believe to stabilize the wound, uh, because there's no critical damage, it is just a 13 check, uh, which okay. you can use paramedic. Or uh, which is your better check? I imagine that you have access to. Um, yep. It sure is. Oh no, it's um, a D, uh, DV. Uh... You know what? I'm gonna need clarification if stabilization fixes the wounded effects, like temporarily fixes the 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 negative two to all actions. I'm gonna go ahead and say that it does. However, you're not, you're, there's no way you're gonna get it done before this combat is over. So, uh, okay, yeah, it is a uh, uh, for him. It'll be a DV thirteen. Okay. Twenty four. Okay. So. <laughs> I told you As long as you are uninterrupted for this whole minute, you you will succeed at stabilizing him. Yay. Okay. Perfect. Just stay still. Uh, no make... And she kind of, like, turns to Jackal. No making him load shotguns. I, we're in a car chase, love. I, I can't control what you I need, need to, at the moment. Uh, well, well, I need to stabilize him. No! <laughs> Push it out of his hand. You are injured! You are near death! Please stop going. You want to know why you don't like the yelling? Because I you're agree. near death. I agree. I'm trying to focus. <laughs> Holding on. Stay still. I think I'm gonna be sick. 
just like out the window. Do not distract Jackal as I'm just firing. Like, <laughs> you're the reason we're in this situation, bitch. <laughs> she All right. Say that. The next one fires. The uh, it's it's the next one in the car's turn. Uh, it's another head. Uh, uh, it's someone wielding an, uh, uh, a rifle. Am I correct in that? You guys are loaded in there, Jesus. Can, can we just say how much the bad omen is getting lit up for a cup right now? She still got full health, baby. Yeah, actually, yeah, right. the car has yeah, not right. taken any damage. They are seemingly going for the passengers. Uh, for the people inside, it looks like. And another shot goes off at omen. Specifically, Omen again. Uh, while he is in the optimal position to be shot at, that is probably the reason for it. But that is going to hit, and it does 19 damage this time. Woo! Damn! Keep taking those hits, thank you. Uh, tank, right? You so, how does that work? So, I have 11 uh, body and 11 head. Like, how does that work? So, I take you don't worry about the head. Uh, you just take your, your, your stopping power is going to be whatever the highest value is, which is 11 for both, I believe. So, yep. you're going to ablate 11 of that damage. Or, sorry, 11 of that damage is negated by your armor. So, yep. you're only going to take 8 damage to your hit points. Mm. However, your armor is now ablated by 1. So, you're going to hit that little down arrow next to your armor. Yep. And now your stopping power, your SP is now ten. So next time it'll only take, it'll only stop ten damage. Yep, got it. All right. Ouch. We are back ahead at the top of the uh, initiative order now. Uh, Jackal, you are uh, you are driving. Uh, there is a tight bootleg turn that you could make uh, down a side alley. You would need to whip the car around a concrete barrier construction. Uh, it would be a very, very... You would, you would need to drift the back end of the car around, slide around this concrete barrier, and then whip it at, at like a really tight angle down this alley. Uh, if you do this, it, there's a good chance that they're not... I mean, this is a tough maneuver, so you might gain some distance. Or yeah, let's do it. Let's go ahead might, and do you it. Mu- or you might fuck let's it up. Pull a little, let's pull a little bootleg <laughs> turn. If you know. All right, let's roll Radio. your vehicle check. Yeah. Me and the bad one. She's a good girl. She go back. We and when you succeed over. these, you can feel free to describe them how you wish. If you want to put a little a movie magic into it. Oh, you succeed. Oh, for sure Woo! you succeed. Yeah, so... Uh, Jackal sees this turn coming up with this, this concrete bollard. Oh he's gonna pull. The, he's gonna pull the e-brake a little bit and whip it, and and it's it, it's gonna look like he's making like you know a, a left turn, but he's actually like actually like almost going like 180 and then going down the side street. So it real like really whips the back end of the car out and then it hard accelerates in the opposite direction. Okay, uh, and to your surprise, as as flawlessly as you executed it. They manage to keep up with you. They pull the turn. However, they do clip the back end of that concrete barrier. Because they bitches. As you can tell, they don't have the same driving handling skill as you do. Ooh, they I did make jackal. that turn. It's all, it's all right. It wasn't clean like you did it. Uh, it's all right. And we're back at the top of that initiative order, so I think that is Jareth. But you cannot do any shooting. <laughs> so uh, what is it that out. you would like to do? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Oh gosh, um, but I can't like stun gun their engine. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think just because Jared, Jared just met this woman today, um, he's gonna ignore her and just continue to try to make sure that guns and equipment is is stocked and ready. Every turn you take, by the way, is delaying. Delaying her stabilization by three seconds. I, just I so know. you know. Would <laughs> yeah. can I? Can, if there, if Jareth had a gun, would he try to shoot it or no? I mean, yeah, he ha- he can use he can only use heavy pistols though. So okay, you've only seen him shoot pistols before, but it was at like soda cans. 
Jareth only has a stun gun because of cost reasons, right? Not because you're like a pacifist. <laughs> Not because he can't use it. Not yet. You just spent all your money on cyberware and programs. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Well, they did manage to keep up with you, and it looks like we are going to have the shotgunner take a stab at you. Or a shot. Oh, can I, I do the assist check again? Uh. My gun's already loaded, son. Oh, okay. Then if you know what I was no, I'm gonna say that one assist check was for the whole uh, was for the whole ride here as far as oh, okay. whether you can assist here. Uh, we're just gonna keep this combat moving a little bit. Uh, shotgun. That does not hit. Uh, and we're on to the next round. So the uh, the shotgun shells just uh, kind of ping harmlessly off the uh, the car without doing any damage. Uh, we're on to Jackal's turn. Yep. So I'm going with the uh, interface plug still plugged into the Bad Omen. Uh, Jackal now with slugs loaded into Agatha. He's gonna get a little pissed. He's gonna, they're putting they're putting holes in his baby. So with the interface plug still plugged in, uh, in. It, it, it's miraculous how how well Jackal like flows inside this vehicle. So while it's plugged in, he's going to in a in a split second he's going to peek out the window, aim behind him, and try to put a slug right into the car. Like just just look out, boom, and then look back in. It's right into the engine shot. block. You're just going straight. You're just going straight for the car, not shooting for the driver or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Oh, and can you remind up. me how much hit points Jackal's car has again? 50. Yeah. Okay. Lots of... Okay. It's an 18. 18. I believe that hits. That Let's should see. hit. It does hit. Yeah. Okay. And damage is 17 damage. Ooh. Okay. And as he as he as he uh, comes back into the car, he'll flip the saw, you know, the the lever action shotgun around, ejecting the empty shell, and just stare back at the at the at the road. <laughs> All right. Picks his cigarette off the dashboard. You pull that Jared, maneuver off, Jared and the, it. <laughs> you catch that you catch the enemy car square with that shot, and it. It causes the driver to flinch. They they swerve a little bit, and uh, we're next on the initiative order, uh, which I believe is our pistoler. Let's go. Pistol. All right, that is going to hit a car. Or me? No, they're still within. <laughs> they're still within range of you, and they're going for you. Uh, oh. That's 13 damage. So I think you're at 10. Ooh. So you're going to take three yep. to the body and ablate one more. On. Yep. I'm going to fuck him up so I can fix him up later. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and that's supposed to not to want me to get hit. And you're like, yes, please. I need to fix him. This I can fix can. him. <laughs> Keep new. hitting him. What, is, what are these feelings happening? What's uh, going on? And, uh, I, Omen, that is your turn then. Okay, uh, after like getting like lit up by two of these, I just like slide back in. Fuck. Uh, and I just like the suit, like I just look at my suit. Ah, it's going to take me forever to get this Taylor. Uh, and I'm just going to put the pistol down. I'm going to take the assault rifle out, lock and load, and I'm just going to pop out. And I'm just going straight for the for the front of the car and just fucking brrr, just like blasting the, that bitch, like straight straight at the engine block. Okay, go for it. How, how, how much ahead are we? I, is, like, did the distance change at all? Because I know the our assault rifle has weird DV for distance. Yeah, yeah he caught up with you. You are still um, 12 yeah, meters away. Six squares, you can say. Six squares away. So it's like a DV 15 then, it looks like, according to this? It looks like a DV 15. That's correct. Okay. Um, so I will take a shot that uh, I'm gonna burn two luck nope two luck not 
more than that. Where did it go? Oh god. And you're aiming you're aiming just for the car in general, not for anybody inside? Just just at the uh, just at the at the car. Twenty one baby. Does that hit? <laughs> yeah, that hits. Oh that's not damage, okay. okay. All right, that's the yeah, yeah, no, damage is could be. Ah, that's still right a lot. Ah. As uh, as I like, I'm like get like you can see like just the the suit is like kind of torn up and like black and sundered a bit, and there's some crack and maybe there's a little bit of blood trickling through on his shoulder. Uh, as he just like yeah, he just pulls the assault rifle out, kind of taking a cue from Jack, and he just pops out and just unloads at the front of the car. And then, uh, and then, importantly, I'm going to jump back into the vehicle afterwards, <laughs> it's like, as I kind of did that before. And, and it's it's kind of like uncharacteristic, probably for Jareth and for Jackal and Bishop to like see me be kind of that reckless. But it's kind of like it, it's taking him a second to kind of remember almost. And so it's like he, he's starting to kind of get back to like his his senses. Um, All right. And then I think I think I just shoot once, right? That's, I, that's what I, I think. You've just turn, got one correct? rate of yeah. fire for your yep. for your weapons. So. Um, most weapons just have one rate of fire. It starts getting kind of wonky with the balance. Otherwise, uh, we are now at Reverie's turn in the turn order. Um, now you can't do anything without interrupting your stabilization. However, mm -hmm. um, if you want to take this time in your turn to role play or say anything to anybody, this is, I'm just going to throw the ball to you on this turn. Here. Um, I'll give you a little extra fair. leeway is... with that. <sighs> um, this is not easy. I have never had to try and stabilize a man from the back seat when he is sitting in the front seat. This is not easy for me. Um, you're still reloading guns. Think if Jackal's using it now. Oh, okay. Perfect, perfect. Um, she's probably, best she can, twisting around to, like, it's probably grabbing your face, like, what exactly did you do to yourself? Roll a vehicle uh, check, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> and then I also, Jareth would know what happens uh, to uh, a, a control check? Handling check. Oh, yeah. God, please. <laughs> You guys can continue with your role play. Oh, Don't let me talk. Fucking, he's Jackal, man. <laughs> Smooth Hot butter. boy shit. Smooth the silk. The yeah, drive, the yeah. She snaps his <laughs> neck. <laughs> what can I say? Oops. Could have been bad, um, but he drives smooth. Yeah, she's kind of just trying to... She's worked on Netrunners before, but not like... It's good to hear what you've done. Um, to yourself. Jer Jareth would just know that it's a... It's nerve damage, I'm assuming. When, when um, big damage in the in the net space, it's mainly just. I guess he, uh, he would he would tell you his symptoms, which are basically just um, pain. Pain. <laughs> he, feels, he he can't feel certain parts of his body due to the nerve damage. And actually, if if anybody's ever had shingles. I uh, hope not. Oof. Um, it's sim I, I would assume it's similar to that, but around the uh, back of his neck and a mm. bit of his arm um, into his shoulder blades. So he's in excruciating pain right now, sitting in a car. <laughs> so I think I can't fix him here because it's going to require surgery, obviously, but I think the stabilization will be her administering, like, numbing agents drugs like she's injecting you with things at yeah this point. Well, yeah drugs to give keep me, you comfortable drugs. Yes, yeah like drugs that's what there's no jersey. fixing happening but she's she's pretty much like <laughs> yeah you're gonna need surgery when we get back and until then i'm going to inject you with as many numbing agents as i have okay all the drugs right now please all the drugs <laughs> and then i'm gonna have to cut you open later <laughs> drugs. I was told I would be given drugs. The drugs will come first. Um, yeah, so that's that's what I'll be doing is, is just pulling out, like, reaching backwards towards, like, you know, what, the little bag I have. Probably, I don't know, um, to give Bishop something to do, like, hand me my bag, hand me the fucking syringes. Yeah. So, you know, injecting him and just kind of hoping and praying that 
Jackal does not take a like a sudden turn or anything as I'm injecting him with things. I think as I, as I pop pop in real quick, it, you know, just like before I like pop right back out, I just say you might want to give him some anxiety medicine as well. Jareth does not like gunfights. And then I just pop back out and start firing again. <laughs> give give my son anxiety medicine. <laughs> And as you so pop out to go to take another <laughs> shot, you, you say that line, and as you go to, uh, to to lean out the window, another pistol bullet hits you in the shoulder for 15 damage. These fuckers, Whoa. man, I am getting lit up. Now, Omen! I am, look, it's also important, I think Omen knows that Jackal's got to get time to do his thing, so he's trying to fucking keep, mm -hmm. he's behind him, he's just kind of using himself, so. He's behind, I, I take he's one. tanking, literally. And it was how much damage? Oh, 15. And can you can you roll a perception check for me? Uh, yeah, you can roll human perception if it's higher. Uh, sure. Uh, Bishan, will you refresh cameras? Refresh cameras? <laughs> Another one. Yes. We have Dan with us. We got Dan the man coming in. We got Dan, Dan with us. He should yeah, be, sorry, I got concussed in the back to see what happened. <laughs> Well, so, morning, sunshine. We're in a fucking gunfight. Are you? Then why aren't you happy? <laughs> oh, son, I am. Meanwhile, I pop my head out and fucking get shot in the shoulder and come back in. Fuck. <laughs> That's so. <laughs> That's not even hot. I can't even make that comment. Hold on. I think there's an issue with his camera. Uh oh. Damn. Gotta mm -hmm. gotta refresh the uh, the URL in the OBS. You know what I, I mean? That URL is what OBS. it is. <laughs> that Pearl. Jackal doesn't know how fun. technology. We works. call that the old OBS. Got Got you re today. refresh the Earl. <laughs> I had the a cousin Earl? named Earl. He needed a refresh every now and then, so we went down to the bar, got him a couple drinks. <laughs> you and few Ops. women, you know. Yeah. He got real fresh real quick. Guys, I, I hope he might die. I don't know. I'm, I'm no, you won't. Not while I'm here. You will not I die. Shut the declare. fuck up. Um, I I went from getting fucked up to... by an explosion to like getting shot. Oh, that's right. You trying you to end up in my explosion. medical clinic? Oh. Hey, hey, Dan, can you rejoin the uh, ping? Uh, leave and oh, come yeah. back. Leave and come back. Oh, this man. is where I die. Omen, oh, that <laughs> helmet is really messing up your perception right now. See, yeah, maybe you should you take gets, it off. I have cybernetic eyes, okay? My perception is fine. <laughs> every, every time he gets hit, there's just a ballistics test between the yeah. roof of his head and the top of the helmet. Hungry eyes. <laughs> yeah? Tell me about that. No. <laughs> you don't want to tell me about that? Gotta leave you wanting more. There, there oh, we go. Get it? I'm already wanting there more. There we go. There he is. is. There Sorry he about is. those there technical is. Hello, man. Victory Screech. Our savior is here like a master chess piece he is. Fix oh, yeah. this shit. We're in a fucking yeah. fight and Owen's taking hits. <laughs> I've been shot three times. Three times, um, man. Owen's traumatized and he needs help. Oh, it can't be that bad. With that perception check, uh, you do half, not get- Half HP. Yeah, you do not get anything. Are you at half right now? I am uh, almost. Uh, okay. Let me actually do the math real quick, because I know it's like at half, right? It's disadvantages and stuff. Mm -hmm. And we always round down. Yeah, let me, let me. Nope, I'm, <laughs> I am literally one over the threshold. So if I get hit again, it's Let's getting go. bad, boy. It's getting yep. real bad. Ooh. Negative twos. Yeah, and with that perception, you don't get, you don't get any information out of this. And you know what? I'm gonna say I forgot to roll for you. Uh, uh, Twice. Dan, so, yeah. <laughs> So if you want to go ahead and pop off some shots real quick. Yeah. Hell yeah. Dan, get them. Get them. You can em. aim for the car or you can aim for the people in the car. Oh. Mm. Mm. car chase. We're in a car chase. Oh, delightful. That's what I love to see. The car is damaged. Uh, yes, you're you're behind the passenger seat. If that yes, happens. it is time for me. I'm going to aim for their car. What kind of gun are you using? I'm using the assault rifle. Okay. All right, brother. So go ahead and uh, and make your rolls for that. You can roll twice on that. Yep, yep. Uh, first one. Let's see how we do. You hit. Go ahead and make oh, hell your, yeah. Go ahead and make your damage roll. <gasps> yeah. Uh, what am I that. rolling for that? Uh, now I think. Right do you see that little rifle. blood drop 
next to the oh, damage oh, roll. I think uh, you yep. can just yeah. click on that to roll damage. Yep, yes, you okay. can. Yep, it's super yeah, I'm just easy. Gonna, I'll just roll that then. Little blood uh, drop. Little blood. Sixteen. Oh, sir. All right. Yeah, the car. The car is starting to smoke. If I didn't say that already, you are seeing some damage done to the front end of that car. Uh, bumper starting to hang off a bit as you've shot off some of the connectors to that chrome there. Uh, and go ahead and make another attack. Come on, baby. That does that not hit. Doesn't it? Isn't it? Oh, oh it ties. Yeah, tie. Ooh. Fuck. Bummer. He got him one hit, though. He oh, got him one Actually, hit. hold on. Tie what? goes Ooh. to the defender, right? Yep. Yeah. You did not hit the last time either. Oh. oh. That's what? Hit. 16 for assault rifles. You gotta, get, you gotta give it to him. You gotta Bummer. give it to him. Nah, nah, it's all good. I will give oh, you that first one since I messed 15. it up, but that second one. Give him oh, that first one. Okay, is this okay. 15 for... Yeah, mine. Well, when I do it, it says DV 15, 17 if you're auto-fire, and a 20 for a very heavy pistol. So let me see here. Let me take a look. Like when I do it, it says DV 15, so... That's so, where you are on the street, I believe, because our characters uh, are on the side our street. different space. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, so because he's in the back right square, the bottom the bottom left, I should oh. say, square. <laughs> oh, I see. He's got, it's 12 meters away, which puts that at a 16 DV. If you were one meter away further, that would be 15 instead. Damn. So, yeah, so if, if he had not made that maneuver to keep up with Chris, he would have been a little bit farther behind, and that shot would have hit. Yeah. Now, granted, it, it was opposite for pistols. I think the closer you get, the easier it is. Uh, so all there's so, yeah. differing ranges for each weapon. That's kind of how it's balanced here. Okay. Mission fail. We'll get him next time. <laughs> um, where were we, though, in the initiative then? Because I kind of just threw you in because I forgot. Uh, Omen got shot in the shoulder, right? Then it's Reverie's yeah. turn. Oh, no. Reverie was RPing, wasn't she? Reverie was RPing. Oh, yeah. then it would have been Bishop's yeah. turn, so I think this would be... Yep. Okay, then we're back. I okay, we're back around. it kind of naturally worked out that way. Yeah. It did, yeah, yeah. We're back around to the top then, and we're going to go ahead and make another maneuver. You're driving around. Uh, Chris, is there what kind of obstacle might you... Uh, if you want to describe a kind of maneuver that you might take to get away, to get further. Keep in mind, whatever you try and do, however difficult that is going to be, they're going to have to try and keep up with you. So... They shot my fucking car and him. Jackal's getting a little pissed. You can see he's getting a little he's getting a little heated. So I think Now, I'm not asking for permission cuz I don't give a shit. <laughs> I think Jackal's Get gonna him, brother. Pull, Jackal's going to pull a little uh J-turn and he's going to make them crash into his combat prow. That's hot boy shit. Ooh, really now? That's a move. I like that. He's, he's gonna I do like a little that. bootleg turn. He he want he doesn't want this car destroyed. He wants this car destroyed and everyone inside that car dead. Okay. This is a tough one. I'm gonna say this is a two part maneuver. You're gonna have to do two rolls. Okay. One to succeed and one to contest against them dodging out of the way of trying to hit you. Okay? You got this, baby. Come on. Got some luck, too, if you need it. 19. Woo! Okay. That's for the that's for the J turn or the bootleg turn, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. You uh, you barely squeak by on this, uh, on this J turn. You pull it around. You almost lose control of the vehicle. You start to fishtail out, but you get that control together. Is it, did you get the control in time to get the direction straight to where you can plow? Go ahead and roll your second uh, drive vehicle check. And I'm going to go ahead and Roll for plowing, that. please. Roll for plow. Ooh. Oh, what? better. We'll see. <laughs> and they rolled a 21, just barely edging oh, you oh, out. Oh, oh, oh no. man, luck. And I got to say, you, you have a better drive score than them. They, they rolled well. They rolled uh, an eight on that. Okay. So, they manage to dodge your plow maneuver. You do not hit them. Uh, and they whip it around to keep uh, 
in contact with you, which, because of the way that they've done it, they managed to close the gap just a tiny bit. Uh, but not significantly, because you pretty much nailed those maneuvers. They did beat you out, though, on that second one. All right, and at the top of the initiative order, Jareth, unless there's anything specific you want to do, this is a role-play moment for you, unless you want to interrupt your healing again. Nah, yeah, once he's, once he's, he's, he's locked in for, for not doing anything, uh, he just stops talking, especially after that turn. Uh, <laughs> probably has a bit of whiplash from it, and he's like, Okay, I, I, yeah, I think I'm no right. whiplash. No whiplash. <laughs> it's all right. We're good. I'm still fine. He's he's like the, the when when your mom finally finally sits in the passenger seat and they find out you can drive and they're just holding on to dear life. That's what he is. He knows <laughs> it's a smooth ride. Um, <laughs> and he just trying he's trying to calm down. Uh, and his anxiety is peaked. Um, and he'll let do what, what, what she needs to do. Must All right. The drugs now. We'll, we'll be coming through. One minute. And as that car peeks up closer to you, uh, he's now in range to where he could more comfortably, the shotgunner can more comfortably hit uh, the driver. Oh. But he goes for you again, Omen. You take another it's shot uh, it. with the shotgun. You got lucky. He rolled low on damage. He does hit. It only does 14. It could have been a lot worse. Okay. Okay, that's... Oh, we're, guys, this is, this is getting... So right. you know what? At 8, you took you took 6 damage to the body from that? And yep. your armor's now at 7? Or was it... Yeah. Okay. It's at uh, it's at 7 now, yeah. I And I am uh, officially, this seriously, is... I think, wounded, I think. I'm like half, like 18 and a half. Okay. 18 HP, boys. Uh, Jackal, your turn. Yeah, he's gonna lean out the window again and put a slug into the car. Ooh, good choice. The car's hurt. Oh, Oh, that yeah, yeah, that hits. Dirty, dirty Ooh, girl. There, Holy shit. Oh, yes. and critical Boy. damage. You did 30 damage. Ooh. That's spicy, brother. Ooh. You know that's spicy. He's in my fucking streets. <laughs> Damn, this that's Dom Toretto. Is, You're this so is hot. the jackal show. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody messes with my family. <laughs> Dude, jackal ain't fucking around. All right. Describe so how this car... Uh, comes to a stop because you did enough damage to fuck this car up. So, yeah, so he, he he leans out the window again, and he he puts a slug right through the radiator, which then probably hits some pumps, some some belts. I don't know how how engines work in in 2045, but I assume there's still belts and pumps and all that stuff. Uh, yeah. I can I can ask Bishop later and how they work. Um. But uh, yeah, he just puts one right into the radiator, and 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 it's you just you just hear the sputtering of doo, 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 as the car is is dying. Okay, the car starts to slow down and uh, and come to a halt as the engine just doesn't have any more give to it. Uh, what do you do? Are you gonna continue on your path? God no, he's stopping the car. You stopping the car? Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, you, uh, as you're going out and you're driving and you are shooting, uh, there is, uh, an obstacle in the road. It seems like there is a pedestrian. Can you give me a, well, actually tell me, would you, uh, it's going to take some time to avoid this pedestrian. Are you going to... I mean, you could plow through this guy. Might do a little damage to your plow, but, you know. If you went to avoid him, you're going to lose some time. You might lose a little bit of control of the vehicle. Might give them a chance to escape. He ain't stopping. He ain't stopping. <laughs> Ooh. How much damage can your plow take? My plow is... Uh, let's 
see. How much can it take? Well, please roll 66 damage for me on the outset. And we'll, we'll look that sure. up too. Uh, I don't. Th the plow doesn't have HP technically. It doesn't. It's not like a shield. No. Mm -mm. So it just negates just all damage from the front, no matter what. You don't. Your car Colli doesn't take collision damage. Collision Gunshots damage. Like, still do damage. It's just if I run into something. Um, the the uh, people inside don't take damage nor whiplash. Okay. Yeah. Then I guess at this point we don't need to roll for that then. Uh, okay. Yeah, you splatter through this person as just their bits, organs, entrails. Splatter? S s yeah, just splash across the Brutal. windshield. Brutal. It is a. <laughs> you're going fast, and that uh, that plow. It's got like spikes. It's got like metal jagged bits. And it's got a teddy bear on the front, strapped in with barbed wire. Yeah, you hit this Ooh. person, and they start rolling up the plow, getting cut. You know, uh, uh, mauled and beaten, bruised all the way up the windshield. Cut, blood splattered, and they roll off the top of the car. Uh, and I assume you just pop that windshield wiper on. <laughs> and you're all good to go, right? Jareth, Jareth opens his eyes. Is it something? Yeah. They gave him the old Mr. Blow. It was something. Oh. All right. Well, you guys get out of the car. Give me one moment. I'm going to go ahead and put you all on the map here. And I'm going to go ahead and put some enemies on the map as well. Jerry thinks they're making a corner store stop. So he's like, <laughs> he said, can you guys give me some, some Going down. Chips? Get, get you some, some kibble. Can you guys get in a drink? Oh. We getting you a Slurpee? Please. What, what flavor not. Slurpee does Jareth like? Oh, we, um, we lost Dan's camera again. Oh, it's been it's been lost for a bit. Oh. <laughs> uh, Bishop would know blueberry. Uh, I would know it was blueberry, yes. And if they don't have that, I buy you blue raspberry, and I tell you it's blueberry. Exactly, Jared doesn't know the difference. Damn, that's that's a real one, huh? <laughs> that's that's the real. I ship that. <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of I mean, shippable. I mean, maybe. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Wait, it's kind of... It's giving something. Alright. Mm -hmm. Momo's gears. <laughs> four people... Oh, no. Four people get out of the car. Uh, excuse my hasty... Uh, uh, I, uh, I did not find individual icons for these guys yet. I apologize. Um, you guys all get out of the car. Tell me where, how, you, uh, how you get out. Uh, I mean, you're going to stop the car here. Uh, say... Their car has turned, uh, safe. has come to a halt. <laughs> oh, you know it's not. They've pulled out here, and let's go ahead and put you back in the order that you were in. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so you're staying in the car? Well, it depends on if I'm done with Jared. Nope, not at all. Not then even I'm close. That's a that's a long term project. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I the, each each round is three seconds. Each turn is is uh, uh, yeah. Each round is three seconds, and it takes a full minute to do your stabilization. You well, what happens if I don't? Rounds. If you don't stabilize, I mean, you don't technically need to stabilize him right now. He's not dying. If you wanted to stop him from doing, uh, yeah. Uh, that would be more necessary if you were wounded or if if we were about to go into another combat and he had like a a, a, a critical wound uh like a oh, critical well injury then like, i'm like getting a... out of the car well yeah then if he if he's fine then i'm not gonna essentially waste turns then i mean he's messed up but he's not dying right now I, yeah, yeah i can't fix him right now okay yeah healing is not really meant to be done in combat there is a specific drug that only you have access to that you can use 
I think it's once per day to give a little extra boost of healing, but it's something you have to pick with your medtech roll. It's one of the drugs that you can choose. It's the only healing in the game that's not done through just, like, bed rest. I should probably do that then, huh? Yeah, it's a, I'm pretty sure, I'm sure I mean, it's a common route for medtechs to take. <laughs> it depends on how much health, because I think Omen would need it more than me, or would use it better than... She's working on you, baby. If if we're stopping, I'm going to the to the rear of the car and uh, I'm yelling at Jack about popping drunk. I just gotta inject him with it. Is it that simple? Do I need to roll anything for this Bichon? Because if it's that easy, I can run up um, to him real quick. We're gonna need to look into the roll mechanics, but you you would need to put medtech points into it and choose that as the drug that you have on you. In which case you would get like a certain amount that you could use, and then I think you would need to spend money on supplies to to make it again once you've used yep. them up. Got you. Okay, I put some points into um, pharmacy. There's like surgery. I uh, think pharmaceuticals is the one that you want if you put it into pharmacy. Yes, I put uh, one into pharmaceuticals and three into surgery. Okay, um, so if you want to. So we're going to keep going ahead with the initiative order, but if you want to go check out your med tech roll and check out that drug in the rule book, you, you have the, 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 you all have the book, right? Yeah, okay. we all have the book. Okay. I um, Steamy had something like that. My med tech. Okay. <laughs> he was a street pharmacist. So with that, I think we were at Jackal's turn order. Yep. Okay. Yeah, you're out of the car. They are uh, hunkering down and getting ready to uh, getting ready to fight. As the cars are still driving by, I like <laughs> we're like on this. It's like a highway fucking shootout. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I should, probably, I should probably turn that sound effect off if you're stopped. There no, you you're go. fine. Jareth <laughs> is still in the car though. Okay, yeah, Jareth, you're still in the car. Sounds good to me. He's just like looking around. Where's everybody going? <laughs> Give me some snacks. So, Jackal, what do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to start off by. Uh, just going to. Remember that poison sarin gas grenade he has? He's going to throw Ooh. it right on top of that car. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Now remind me what the effects of that does, and go ahead and, and make it's that. It's a DV pause. thirteen resist torture or drugs on a fail. It's two d six damage to health direct. Two d six on a resist torture. What's the DV you said? Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. And um. And for your um. Okay, yeah. Sorry, hold on. You're good. Uh, what is the uh the? It's a three by three square, right? It's a right? three by three. So yeah, so just where all of them get hit right on top of the car, that will cover three by three. Uh. Oh, hold on. Let me just make sure this is actually getting. Because I don't think you get them all with the three by three. You don't get all of the people. You can get the car. I mean, even two. As far as you know, there there is someone still in the car. Oh my bad. They're the. You're you're right. So I will I will throw it uh, to, at the two. Oh, actually, if I don't get them all, uh, I will take that back then. Um, I I was miscounted. I will just shoot at the passenger that hopped out. If I can shoot again, I don't know if like initiative reset. Uh, no, but you can make you can make a movement actually. I guess if yeah, I guess I, I forgot you did shoot already. Um, All right, then I will. Uh, he'll take uh, he'll take cover behind his car, like right by the the wheel well, right right there where he is. Okay, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and count. I know. The rules say that once you destroy, destroy a car, it no longer counts as cover. Which That's correct. Which seems kind of crazy to me. It's uh, a little weird. 
I feel like it's a little weird. I think I'm going to go ahead and say that it is thin steel cover. Okay. Does that seem fair? Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. I'm down. Whatever. It just I'm seems do a little strange. Anyway. Does my car have full health? I don't know if you were applying any of those shots to my car. Uh, I, I, I was, was but none of them hit well. you. None, like the, okay. the shots that, that yeah, I said hit the car, me. I said were superficial when they missed Omen. Got they it. didn't do Got it. They it. didn't okay. do any damage to your car. But Got I was it. just kind of playing it out as, as it did. Cool. Um, okay. Yeah. So uh, about uh, combat here, Jackal and Reverie and Omen, you are in cover right now. Uh, the two guys at the top, the two mooks at the top of the uh, uh, of the vehicle, they're in cover. The two at the bottom are not. Uh, so yeah, so we'll go ahead and make uh, just keep that in mind as we go forward here. If you want to shoot somebody, you have to get out of cover and then go back in cover. Otherwise, and uh, uh, something that I read out about earlier today. Uh, which would be very important. This is what the Overwatch tool is used for because otherwise it can be very difficult to hit somebody that is behind cover. But Overwatch allows you, it's basically like hold an action. You are holding your fire until somebody peeks out uh, that you specify. And that basically negates this little dodging in and out of cover tactic. Otherwise everybody could do that and it would be very, very difficult to hit people. Uh, okay, yeah, that's it. So, uh you are going to be the shotgunner is going to go ahead and take a stab at you uh oh thanks for the raid thank you for the uh, raid punch oh, thank you so much punch rp thank you thank you, thank hey. you so much we're in a gunfight we are in a gunfight this is the best time to join red. uh and with uh omen being behind cover uh jackal and reverie being behind cover as well this person's gonna go ahead and take a shot off at bishop not uh, my boy bishop uh, yeah, they're go, they're no not allowed illegal oh no my weakness firearms bullets <laughs> <laughs> oh no okay my kryptonite bowler <laughs> See, this is why I took the extendo hand because fist beats bullets every time. This is true. This is bad. Mm. All right, that does not hit. Again, sorry for my my little bit of delays here. That does not hit. And we are next in the initiative order. Uh, that would be uh, Omen. Your turn. Oh, right. actually, he has a move. He is going to. He's going to take a move action here. And that would be. Um, yeah, he goes and puts himself into cover back there as well. Yeah. So, um, at, just as a uh, um, quick note, so like as I was hopping out, right? Because I wanted to do this because. Uh, Kind of shits hit the fan, uh, and everybody needs to uh, fucking hold their own. So I, uh, I like uh, look. <laughs> I look at uh, Jareth, and he's like still getting worked on. And I just kind of briefly, uh, kind of shove Reverie a little bit out of the way, and I just slap my heavy uh, revolver on his chest and say, "Earn your keep. Four shots, make them count." Uh, and then I'm gonna hop out, like just as part of it, to give him an actual weapon to do something. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> and uh, and then I'm gonna hop, and then I'll I'll, I'll be on the back where I am, uh, and then I'm gonna like um, I'm fucked up, uh, but I'm gonna pop out uh, up and and just try to like use the car to kind of like pull myself up. And I see the last guy getting ready to dart around the corner, and I'm just gonna uh, shoot at him with my uh, assault rifle. Are you at negatives yet? I am. I am at negative two. In your role? Yep. Okay. Because I am, I am, I'm Who are you shooting at? The one in front? Uh, the one that's in open? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this guy. Like, uh, this guy. Yeah, I don't think you see that. But the guy that's in the open, because easiest target, like, makes sense. Yeah. Uh, for it. So I believe I'm at a minus two, correct? Uh, yes, I'm, you I'm are. At, I'm, I'm really messed up. That's supposed to be fine. Um, okay, so I will shoot. And I am at, oh, it's already there. Wow, this is so cool. Uh, but I'm going to spend two luck to just even it out. Um, 
There we go. Uh, I did it last time. Come on, man. And, uh... Ooh, 20 20 very hit. nice roll. That Ooh. does hit. Yeah. All right. Your DV is 15 from this distance with the assault rifle. Well, he's going to take 16. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Uh... And you can see that that does some good damage then. Uh, and then I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna uh, like pop pop back down uh, and I'm just gonna once again yeah jackal pop the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still connected to the car? No, I've unplugged. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, and I'll just I'll just I'll kind of like lean lean my back against the car, just kind of like it's almost helping prop me up uh, a little bit at this point. Um, but doesn't seem like he's definitely feeling it, but also still feels like he's in like full fight mode. Like he's just, he's just fully engaged. <laughs> yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Um, the, uh, the pistoler, uh, in the middle at the top goes to take a shot and it does not go well. Uh, going a bit wide for them uh, and they're going to go ahead and make some movements um, and let's see there's no good cover for them so they're going to run out into the open um, what would that have changed just a little curiosity on my part be curious learn things Oh, that's what he would have done instead. All right. You oh. never, mind. never mind. He's going to stay there for next time. That's going to be his oh, tactic okay. next mm. time. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Learn a little Sussy something. Baka. Huh. Sus. 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 <laughs> Bitch. Suspicious. All right. And we are now at Omen's turn. Oh, I just shot the guy. So. <laughs> ah. Oh, right. It'll be someone else's turn. Sorry. You're right. It is. And that, that guy went. So it would be ever okay. is after that guy. Yes. So it would be Reverie's turn. I figured out um, drugs in this time. Um, so the drug that um, I have available to me um, is called Stim. Um, I do need to, it takes an action to administer this. Um, I do need to make a check to make sure it's successful. Um, like the drug was good basically. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily that I was uh, successful drugs. in administering it. Um, so I, I'm supposed to roll that first. It says it's a DV13 um, med tech check. Yeah, I think all of your drug checks are DV13. Yes. So I'm going to roll that first. Um, and then I'll describe what STEM does. Um. Okay. <clears throat> Speed heal, by the way, is the one that actually does that's, HP. Yeah. Okay. That's that's the pretty good one, but Stim is the one. Uh, one moment. I'm gonna use a little bit of luck on this, just because I want this to be super effective when I use it. Um, twenty-three. Oh yeah. Well, that'll yeah. work then. Yeah, do you want to describe what it does? Um, so, stim. When injected with a dose of stim, a target can ignore all pen uh, penalties from being in the seriously wounded wound state for an hour. Uh, a person can only benefit from one use of stim per day. Um, so it's going to get rid of the negatives to rolls. Yes, so who do you administer? We have two people with negatives right now. Um, yeah, but one of them is in the car and one of them is actively in a fight. <laughs> um, so I think I'll stab Omen first. Good call, good call. And then I'll uh, right. stab Jareth. Because Jareth yeah. right now is in the front seat still, yes? Yep, that'll have to be your next okay. turn then. Um, um, you can go ahead yeah, and get in the car preemptively if you'd like, though. Um, I'm going to stab. Let me... Uh, oh. oh, fuck. How far did you go, Omen? Getting I'm actually... The, like, back wheel. Little clarification, just in case it's important. Uh... You can't get into the getting into the car and out of the car is an action. It is. Yes. Oh fuck. So technically, 
you all getting out of the car should have been an action. I just hand waved it. Everybody all got out of the car at once. So then we're uh, all out of the car. You're all out of the yeah. car right now. I'm not. I'm okay, not going back and dealing with that. But okay. Okay. Except yeah. for Jared. That... Jared said he was just staying in the car. So exactly. Right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I then I'm Jared already out the, of like, the car. He I've just got to move. See, and the seat went all the way back, so he's like laying in the car, <laughs> like fully covered, like just uh. Like, <laughs> I was okay. told not Bullets to move, and we five. got everybody left, and he's just yeah. like, what's going on? Alden, <laughs> yeah. you haven't moved. How far have you moved? Are you I, I really, I, like, hopped out and went to the, like, I'm on that corner, right, waiting for the trunk to pop open, oh, and well, I'm just, you're right I crouched there. down. Yeah, I'm, like, right next to you. Okay, perfect. I was like, I don't, uh, are you too far away? I don't know. Um, no, I'm so literally right there. I'm just going to pull this stem out. I'm going to kind of get it ready, and kind of, she's going to go up to you. I need you to let me stab you with this. What is it? It's gonna make you feel better. Where? I don't know. How about the neck? <laughs> she got I, her I, just, I just, I just, I just like rotate my neck Perfect. and then, like pull, pull down the collar a little bit, so Ooh. you can actually see skin yeah. probably. What, for the first what, time. what does she see? What kind of skin is it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is it soft? So you see, uh, you see what looks is like very, very, very pale skin. Um, but okay. towards the like front part of the neck, you do see some like heavy, like burn scars. Oh, I knew it! Oh my god! Backstory, y'all. Write it down. Backstory. Um. Yeah. I mean, I'll just kind of very gently, kind of. It. <laughs> I, as you're, Stab. as you're like, as you're like, kind of. I just, I, God, just again. But I just say, I don't mind pain. Just do it. This should help with the um, well. It'll numb you a bit. And she's gonna inject the stim into him. So you can take all your negatives off your rolls now. Woo! <laughs> Delightful. How do you feel? Yay! I feel I mean, it's, it's probably a, like a, it's a, it's stimulant, like a super drug. It's so. just like, yeah, it's just <laughs> cranky. Oh, right but the wrong. <laughs> it's like, like wave just Adrenaline goes over rush. Omen. And yeah, he just like, <laughs> he kind of like after you do that, he just kind of arches his neck and then you just hear him crack it twice. And then he like, does a little shoulder roll and then he's just ready to shoot again. Perfect. That's what I need him to do. Okay, that's my uh, turn. Ah, uh, that's hot. I gotta prep the next one for Jareth. <laughs> All right. And um, with that, one of the uh, pistolers, the one that's not in cover right now, he is uh, uh, going to drop his pistol and pull out a shotgun that he has strapped to his back under his jacket. And he is going to advance towards you. Ooh. No, he's not. He best not come at me while my back's turned. That's kind of rude. The guy I fucked up is coming towards you? Damn, that guy's ballsy. This bitch. Um. Kill him. And nothing can go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Just let me stab a hot man with drugs in peace, please. But I'm all the way over here. You're so right. Oh, <laughs> well, actually, you can see him here. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to go for that. Oh. Okay. Uh, and he's going to go and take a shot uh, at you, Jackal. It'll be the last thing he ever did. <laughs> Damn, ain't that the truth? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, that does hit. But What's oddly, you think he's going with a shotgun. Uh, you think it's going to. Wait, is that correct? Yes, if it misses. <laughs> absolutely if it's if it's a low roll that did not hit him yes you are absolutely correct <laughs> um no it is correct uh he hits you with uh for 12 damage however you thought he was going for you jackal but the shot flies past you and hits omen in the shoulder what <laughs> Can I can I do something about that? Can I can I react to that? I don't know if there are reactions. 
Uh, you I want can, to throw my wings out. I you don't can, want that oh, to yeah, hit him. You know what? You can go ahead and make you can make your reflex check. Now, what did we say for that? I believe it yeah, was... Yeah, fuck that guy. It was a, it was a, a evasion, and you can add a plus three yeah. to use it as a reflex. Since I'm standing right in front of him. because Only because you're right next to him are you able to do this. You said evasion. I gotta find that. I think it's the top right of the sheet. There it is. I found it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna throw some luck into that. Um... Just because I really don't want... I just fixed him. I don't want him to get hurt more. Do we all catch that? 22. Ooh, you barely, you barely do it. Okay. So you, uh, in a flash, with Wings almost up. out of instinct, you turn around to go and you, you grab Omen in a hug as your wings stretch out. Shoom! Out in on all corners, uh, out from from both sides, and wrap around him, uh, managing to keep him completely uh, sheltered, and you as well from the bullets. What the fuck? He's looking <laughs> behind him. You should be a bit more careful. Are you telling me that? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> she says she knows that it is not your fault. She's just like, come on. I came yeah. over here. You're supposed to be the gunman, not me. I think he just like glances like as you're like like we're like right next to each other and he just glances to his left and right at the wings and he just says, Noted. <laughs> <laughs> Noted she can do that. <laughs> I'll I'll let him go if the gunfire is stopped. Yeah. So he <laughs> just... <laughs> Because he's not much, he's not very useful if I'm holding him, am I? Or is he? <laughs> you just no, you should probably shoots. let him go. Oh, I'm pretty good with my action for you there. Mm. You're not grappling him. Okay. Um. I mean, I'll act as a shield if I can do that. She doesn't want to fight. Um. In this case, where you are directly adjacent to somebody, you can take that damage. As you, so that, by the way, that damage hit your shield then. So you need to take yeah. that. You need to to monitor that now. I, what did we say? Was it a fifteen hit point shield, or did I yep. say twenty? Um, Cyber... I mean, I think it was fifteen, but I'll take the twenty. It is fifteen. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll act as a shield because uh, I didn't actually heal Omen. Uh, I just made it to where he's not rolling at disadvantage, or you know, at a negative. Um. So, so if I can just stand there, he can aim over me. I'm not that tall. Yeah, well, he's gonna have to. You're gonna you're gonna count as cover in this situation. But uh, this is yeah. This works a as a shield. reflex. You took 12 damage to it, meaning you can only take three more damage to the shield before you need to get it repaired. Uh, otherwise, it will lose its functionality. And it is a little scuffed up right now. If you were to go out clubbing with this. Uh, it's people looking a little. Are hot. Not look yeah, people hot. Would think that's hot. They're like, oh, not hot at all. Ain't well, really getting in some ooh. sin. <laughs> <laughs> at the very least, I've what got one more hit. What second store did you get these wings from? Is what people are gonna be. <laughs> ooh. At the very ooh. least, I've got one more hit on these wings, so maybe he'll get a good shot in to make it worth it. <laughs> okay. No pressure. Uh, and now we've got the driver that is going to take. Uh, going to go ahead and pop out uh, actually as they're doing an assault rifle they're going to pop back out of cover oh well that's just rude okay uh, let's do it Dan, is your camera broken? Uh, so, uh, not sure. Oh. <laughs> the light says it's on. <laughs> oh, you're not even in ping. Did ping crash for you? Yeah, hang on. I'm trying to get it back. We can mess with it more, too, on break. Whoa. Yeah. He's rolling inside. Oh, uh -oh. here we go. All right. 
That's 15 damage to you, uh, Bishop, and he's Ow. back in cover. Ooh. Well, that's just that's just rude. Bitches. Hang on, I'm just gonna. And it's your turn next, Bishop. Uh, that, that is a big owie. Oh my god. Well, oh, uh, you, should, you should take. Um, have you gotten damaged yet? Oh yeah. From the trap. I think last. Time. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. But you still have armor, right? Ooh. I, I do think he is at he has armor, but I do think he's at half health now. I am at half health. Ooh. Y'all yeah, bitches keep getting hurt except for Jack. Well, he's fine. All right. Um. Can I even hit that guy? I don't. I don't know if I can reach him. My computer's not loving me today. Um. So something you notice, as compared to fighting these other guys that you fought before, uh, these guys feel like pros. I mean, uh, Jackal, you you had the most first on experience, you know, blasting those those uh, those guards. Yeah, those are runner cops in my eyes. Yeah, and something these feels guys, weird. Uh, Something's this, fucky. These guys are a bit, uh, you know. They're not folding. You're you're not able to, to take them down in one shot like this. Yeah, um, they, 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 huh. these guys know what they're doing. Also, yeah. game master, did we notice that they aimed at Omen? Give me a human perception. Yeah, they're Ooh. very specifically I like, shooting I feel like at, at Omen. At this point, yeah. I feel I I know they're aiming at me. <laughs> like I'm like yeah. I've been shot so many times. Because like, I think it's something that Jareth would have noticed if like Jackal was right in front of him and then. The shot They're aiming over them. at Omen. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. This might be the first and egregious you're not actively time. In the fight. Before positioning yeah. wise, he was just the easiest target. Right, yeah. right. Now sure. not, and plus, Jareth was it didn't even see those shots. It's that one specific shot that I, I think you'd be like, wait a minute. A uh, you want to use call. human perception. Oh, how do, how do I do that? Although if it's a, if it's a lower stat, you can just use this one. That's fine. Under social skills on the right. Social? Yeah. It's a lot yeah, lower, human. Probably. Yeah, there it is. I'm only human. <laughs> uh, no, it's not. I bleed when I get shot. <laughs> right? My kryptonite balloons. Oh, and did you add <laughs> luck? Did you add luck to this roll? I did. Oh, okay. Oh, well, apparently not actually. But I did the I did the wrong thing. But fuck it. Okay. Um, 14. Okay, yeah, you know what? That's a little, that last shot was a bit strange. Hmm. Like, Spears, yeah, but... Jared in the, in the, in the <laughs> Maybe, maybe it's a coincidence. I, I mean, you're all in a line here. Maybe the guy just happened to shoot badly, but... Yeah. You definitely noticed. Gotcha. You're like, really? Uh, conspiracy theorist Jareth, his next uh, upgrade is going to be a tinfoil hat. <laughs> now, uh, Bishop, you're up in the uh, initiative order. Now, uh, I'm curious. So the driver is behind cover for everyone else. Is he still considered in cover for me? He is not behind cover for you. The only person behind cover for you is the person in the back left, the top back left. Well, it looks like I'm aiming at the driver. Okay. The driver's technically the one in the middle, just from how that worked out, but just 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 yep, um, aware. Yeah. I mean he shot me. I'm gonna shoot him. Get him, you, fuck You him got up. your assault rifle out, right? I do indeed. Yeah. That's good because it's a it's a uh, easier shot to hit that guy than it is to hit the other one. Um did you wanna move after this to try and get in cover? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go in my cover after I okay. do this. Go ahead and uh, make but... your roll. Ooh. Uh, def Ty goes to the defender, right? So that did not Ooh. hit. Yeah. Ooh. Cyberpunk yeah. rude to us. Ooh. Oh, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get behind the car. Hide. I think, funny, the trunk doesn't look very open. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn, boy. <laughs> Jack, we'll get this fucking trunk I know, I know what to do on my turn. <laughs> <laughs> I know what to do on my turn. <laughs> Boy! Uh, Jackal, it is, uh, it is your turn. 
Be is curious. opening the trunk. Oh no, sorry, action? Jareth, it's your turn. Oh. Uh, opening the trunk. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say no. I'm gonna give you that okay. as a, as a, like a bonus action. Oh, but Jareth, gonna, it is your turn. I'm gonna use my action for that. <laughs> well, you could do it. You could open yeah, the trunk. He's gonna, he's, as he hears Bishop say that, and he's just like, oh, and he's just gonna kind of roll. <laughs> no, he rolling. <laughs> just sad roll over to the console and. You know, he's breaching like he's looking for change in the <laughs> on the floor. He's yeah, looking yeah. for that. Uh, he needs that laundromat money. Basically yeah. to pull the crank that pops the uh, yeah, pops you, the, tr the trunk open. You pull that crank, chop pops open. Uh, and uh, we're at uh, the shotgunner in the initiative order. Jack, we're good to go. Yeah. Oh no, no! The shotgunner goes before, goes first. Goes oh, before okay. Jackal. Okay. Yeah, I just made a mistake. Oh, okay, okay. okay. This is typical. Um, and this person is going to make a dash. Oh, perfect. Ooh. They're behind this car, uh, for cover now. The yeah, yellow uh, one. Got it. Yep, that is the end of their turn, and we are now at uh, at Jackal. Um, so I'm going to move uh, a, a square forward uh, towards this guy in front of me, so I think I can get it down to DV13 at that range. Okay. I'm going to shoot him. Go for it. Okay. Anyway, so I saw it at last. Blasting. 19. Oh, yeah. You got him. Oh, blown damage. away, baby. Agatha. 18 damage? Get him. Yep. Get him, Agatha. Bitch, Agatha. Describe how this shotgun tears him apart. So Ooh, the shot the shot sexy. goes over his shoulder, and he, well, Jackal hears a very loud tink next to him, and he's like, what the hell is that? And he sees Reverie's wings covering Omen, and he turns around thinking that this guy shot at him and missed <laughs> and just at 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 hip level he's not pulling it up to his eye he's just holding it at hip level and he's just hip That's firing it center mass just <laughs> pops off a shot sense. center mass into his chest and blows him away and he flies back like eight meters he just takes that full force <gasps> and skids another three meters on this on the pavement uh as he's just blasted That's backwards hot. yeah he's he is out. That was hot, Jackal. That was hot. Mm. And I want to use the other six of my movement to try to get on the opposite side of the black car. Oh, Ooh, two, oh I like three, it. Four, five, six. Damn, yep. Jackal got moves, huh? Move, he's got move seven. That, that's how that works, right? That's how many squares you can yep. move. Each okay, move point sure. is one square. Yeah, got it. I fixed the 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 thing so it shows meters now instead of yards, and it's two meters per square. Perfect. So you can use that with all of your measurements. Um, and now we are at one of the uh, pistolers who is going to go ahead and come around behind you, Jackal. Bitch. Can he do that? Hold on. Yeah. Okay, yeah, he can just barely get out of cover. He's going to fire at you with a pistol. Oh, not a rocket launcher, a pistol. Please no. <laughs> he pulls out a rocket, rocket launcher. launcher. <laughs> Christmas canceled. <laughs> just blows up. It's like, what the fuck did that guy just say? It's like, what? All right. And he just barely manages to uh, to hit you as he's his hand is a little shaky right now. Uh, uh, I'm gonna try to good. dodge it. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, you have yes. a reflex oh, of eight. Boy. I do have reflex eight, so it's Dex plus evasion plus one d10. Yes. So you just click, click on, the baby. evasion. Yeah. Yep. Nineteen. All right, yeah. You uh, you read his movements as he pulls the gun out, levels it at your face, and you just instinct, you dodge that shot. And it uh, goes flying past you, uh, misses your car. Does not hit your car. Oof. 
Not my baby. And that brings us to Omen's turn. Oh, and he, he goes back into cover. He is now technically in cover from you. Uh, oh, boy. oh, boy. Oh, yeah. boy. This, this is goes rough. over tea kettle. I'm going to run the two over. <laughs> and get in trouble you're not, with that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. I mean, I, I have the car keys, so. Oh, that's yeah. it. Well, I'm not you didn't leave awesome. him in the ignition? Yeah. No that's way. Awesome. Oh, actually, do you even have car keys? You're neural interfaced, right? That's you probably fine. have. A, you probably don't even yeah, need car keys. So he's old he, school, though. He doesn't like driving with the neural interface. He only does oh, that when boy. he has to. Yeah. Okay. Oh, boy. So you yeah, still got the old school. school uh, you know. It's probably turn some ignition. 2045. You know, it's probably like you know, push to start or That's something. But the yeah. key's got to be by the car still. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, Jared's okay. looking for the interface. He's like, <laughs> old fuck. <laughs> Oh, man. Are, are, are you are you like pulling on any levers or anything like that? Are you like touching no, I buttons? I just popped the trunk. I just, okay. He's just, okay. He's just right. like, what does the big red button do? <laughs> and like, Jareth, he was looking for the aux big red button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> self looking for the aux cord. Found you the cassette player. Five seconds. Oh, shit. So so, so I'll, I'll, I'll let you know, in the car, there is there is uh, some switches and stuff. <laughs> there's one that has a little uh, a little skull on it. And then oh. there's a little there's a little numpad. The, 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 the skull is a little flick switch. Uh, and then there's a numpad with one through six that have green lights on all of them. So just want to let you know. Absolutely not touching it. <laughs> 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 uh, Omen, I think I said it was your turn. Oh yeah, yeah, it is. I'm just trying to think about how stupid I want to be. Oh, just stupid. Shit. Be stupid, do it. Yeah, because it's it's be wild. Wild over you, stuff. You you hopped up do... on adrenaline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And I think that's I think that's it. And I'm I'm also not fully in my right mind. So yeah, no, you're uh, smart enough to be stupid right now. I I like as like the wings. You're just like you're starting to uh, unfurl these like wings around me, and I'm I'm been waiting for the trunk, and it's finally starting to open. But then I see that the guy runs like to the taxi and is trying to like flank, uh, and I see Bishop like not in a good position uh and because i'm all fucking jacked up on drugs uh i uh i take off sprinting towards the taxi um which i think i can go oh it's a one two three four five yeah like i can get to like it's like my move seven right so yeah and you can go ahead and move him where you, where you want to go yeah i forgot i gotta change that um da -da 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 -da. how do i do that is that it one, you can move through friendlies, right? Um, like, yeah, you can move through friendlies. Okay, so uh, I assume move? this guy oh. is he ducked down or is he is he like is his head peeking out or like how what's this visually so I can describe what I'm trying to do narratively? With you because... being right on top of him, I'm not going to count this as being cover. You you this he's not in cover like this to you. He's still in cover right, to everyone right, else, right. but you 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 can. Just so lean over the, and pop them. There's definitely, there's definitely something I'm, I'm doing here. Uh, so uh, as, uh, as I, I run, um, as my movement, so I can with my movement get to this side of him. That's seven, right? So because I could, I could technically like go around, but what I'm gonna do because I'm an edge runner and I want to be fucking cool as shit. Uh, I, I'm running with my assault rifle and, and I go and I just kind of do the Dukes of Hazard slide uh, on the above like above him and i slide over him and as i land next to him i flip my arm out and my katana whips out and i just stab him twice in the neck trying to like just kill him like outright like from behind like i'm just trying to end this dude's life so okay, yeah oh my That's god he's a, he's a weeb uh, he's so, so hot <laughs> you pull so out this over slide and then i'm just yeah the, the katana comes out and i'm just gonna try and grab and, and stab him twice like right in the weak spot yeah, you pull out this katana and, and it just gleams off of the neon lights in the city. Uh, and yeah, go ahead and roll. Now, you get two attacks per turn with... Yes, the all rate of fire with, too. So. Rate of fire too. So you can go ahead and roll that twice. Yeah, okay. So I'll do that, um, but I don't have the minus two. So I just, I just add two to just knock it off, I guess, or... Um, no, so you're... Uh, I just you zero. Uh, you should be, in, if your wound state on your character you sheet should yeah. be green. Thank you for the red. Is it, do you know what it no. is? No. 
I, it's it's I'm still seriously wounded on the sheet, but she gave me the stim, right? So I'm the not... stim's only gonna last for an hour as well. So yeah, he'll go so... back to that wounded state. Yeah, so, so I I'll would just... just cancel it out. Yeah, I'll just like cancel it out, I guess. Can I see that dog you are still wounded, technically. Yeah, let's see if this works. So I roll a sixteen. I don't know what the DV is on this, I have no idea actually. Uh it's rolled against their evasion. It's a contested roll. Oh, okay. All right. Mm, not this, this damage. I'm hoping to just surprise him by like just slide, like just jumping right next to him, and then like yes, yeah, like. Um, I gotta do, I gotta do hot boy shit. Hundred percent. Be on your hot boy shit. That's the point of this game, bro. Yeah, hundred percent. You're tweaking, dude. You're, yeah, you're, yeah, you're, you're feeling good right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm just seeing nothing but blood. Oh, hot. First, yeah, first yeah, one hits. Stim, you got the stim in you. All right. Yeah, so your first one is... hits. Go ahead, roll for damage. So it's eight sword damage. Eight sword damage, and it does Stoic. ignore half of the armor, which means that we are at. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh Thank goodness. you, Gilded oh, Horse. Gilded Horse Man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, oh thanks. What are, what, are, what, are, what are we thinking? Got a little donation. Oh, oh, thank you so much. Thank you for the donation. Yeah, that all goes towards our. Really appreciate that. Um, Thank you. Okay. Trying, guys. And then, uh, and then, yeah, I'm going to swing again, I guess. Cut him up. I don't I think this is working if I just zero that out. 15. Gosh, two critical fails in a row with this guy. Yeah, you you, you mess him up with the sword. Like, he just does not expect this maneuver. And yeah, there's another 10. With that, that's going to be four. So he'll take six from that. Yeah, and he is bleeding. Yeah, he's not looking good. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and... Um, uh, go to the next person's turn, who I believe is this guy. No, there's somebody in the body right before memory. Yes. Right before no, there isn't. It's it's Reverie's turn. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's Reverie's turn. Okay. Um. Well, I'm just out here in the middle of the street, looking like a dumbass now. Fucking do something, little girl. Oh shit. Do something. Oh. I, I, I saved that man's life. Um. She's not gonna. She she's not gonna fire a gun. <laughs> um, mm, but I do have one more hit on these wings before I need to repair them, uh, so I could be a shield for somebody, or I can strangle the fuck out of somebody. <laughs> Not opposed to that. Um, clearly, she's. <laughs> I don't think I'll make it in time. I've only got move five. Um, I'm gonna start running. Where's this guy over here? One minute. Two. Yellow. Three. Four. Five. Fuck this guy. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll start moving over because since over towards Jackal, since there are two guys over here. You can like final. dash, right? Can you like double move or something? You can, yeah. Action? Yep. So if you wanted to like at least close the gap to get next to him. Um, yeah, you know, I'm going to do that then. Yeah, I was like. You don't you don't shoot people so <laughs> it's like you know like let me get behind this guy because i'm gonna try and you know get get behind him and hold him and maybe jackal can get a better shot on him or something oh jeez is my yeah, she's hope. she's going deep man holy shit i know this is how we um, use med techs, guys yeah she's she's just gonna rush in her wings are still out just in case anyone tries to shoot at her but um yeah i'm gonna rush in so okay. Can't hold somebody down. So you're gonna try and grapple this person? Yeah. Go ahead and roll your uh, your grapple. Oh, okay. What kind? Of You've got to beat a thirteen. Reverie, Reverie Rob. Is she doing the NBs? Oh yeah, she got a little NB on. Um. A little New Balances. <laughs> Some little black New Balances. Um, grapple, grapple. Your Skechers. Your <laughs> light up. Skechers. Yeah. Heelys. Can you oh, yeah, light up sketchers? This is wheeling. Oh shit, uh, a curve. Oh, oh shit! 
Nice. Oh, shit. oh hell yeah! 27 a crit! <laughs> okay, yeah. You grab the fuck Fucking out of it. Fucking choking this man. Yeah. <laughs> Which, uh, by the way, choking is a mechanic. So if you're in a grapple, you can start choking him next turn. Uh, oh, yeah, a fucking crit on it. I don't know if, what that means, but... If you choke somebody for three successive rounds, they go unconscious regardless of their hit points. Total. Ooh, a hostage? I'll start Give choking. Me a hostage. I've got you. Dude, I've got this man primed and ready to shoot, Jackal. Please. Mm. Okay, so you've got him right now kind of human shielded. Like, you've got him up in front of you. Yeah, just like okay. this. So if Jackal wants to shoot, or if the other guy tries to shoot at me, then I've got a shield. So... Then we've got Brad. another uh, pistoler. Oh, he's like, what the fuck? This man comes over, just fucking just starts choking his friend out. Like, what the hell? <laughs> I need to label these guys better because I forget which one's which. <laughs> <laughs> so the guy next to Omen hasn't gone yet. The guy that's the guy not next being grappled. Omen. The guy, yeah. the guy that's not being grappled by Reverie. Shot. shot at you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I think the driver, the guy that she's grappling is the one that hasn't gone this turn, I believe. He goes and, at the bottom of the initiative. And order. the dude, yeah, I think, so I think it's the dude that... Got blasted by him. Maybe. <laughs> yes, that's what it was, probably. Yeah. yeah that guy got fucked up. Yeah, so I'm going to go with this guy... Uh, next to omen who i think was a pistoler i'm gonna have to label these guys better next time i'm sorry okay uh that's a 13. an 18 hits no it doesn't yeah it does, yeah, it does. <laughs> what? Is, getting he, is, he, is, is he shooting at him point blank me. he is shooting at him point blank oh oh and he's gonna do 12 damage. Bro. He's getting fucked. Not looking uh, away. But he is scared <laughs> out of his Stop mind. And he's like, the fuck, God, the fucking sword? And he shoots you as he starts like running uh, back towards the car. Are there are attacks of opportunity. Is that a thing? <laughs> there is. There are not attacks of opportunity. Speeches. Okay. But and Bishop, it is your turn. So, can I take enough steps? Oh wait, no, I can. I can shoot him from where I am, can't I? Like yeah, the, sure. Why in the open? Yeah, I just tried to run. But yeah, absolutely. Yeah, right. Your DV for him is going to be sixteen at that range. Uh, I believe that range. if you were to move backwards. Uh, yeah, uh, if I could, yeah, I'll, I'll move backwards. I think maybe I think you gotta go two, two or three spaces to get to get it down a little bit. I'll, I'll go two. I'll go backwards two. That, and then uh, you need one more back. Yep, that's so that puts it at a DV of fifteen. Oh, excellent. Yeah, so that was two Silly. movements that you took there. Silly old guy. Go ahead and make your roll. Hell yeah, good shot. 17, that hits. Roll for damage. Fuck yeah. Let's get it. Let's go. Ooh, okay. Let's go. Let's go. And how much armor Love do to we see have? It. <laughs> this, uh, yeah, this bullet almost takes him down. Uh, he is stumbling. He takes another step Ooh. back as uh, as he seems almost delirious right now. Hell yeah. Um, can I... Uh, am I able to take another shot or... You are one shot per round. You, you, you can okay, get back in gotcha. cover if you want. No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine where I am. Okay. Uh, and from here, somebody who's grappled... Now, I don't think that they can make an attack except against the person that they are being grappled by right um try to like break free i guess yeah he's gonna try and break free is what he's gonna he do try. yeah so go ahead and roll your uh your brawling sc skill again okay 
please Ooh, hold. Ooh, he critted. Oh. I don't know if I got that. Yeah, no, I don't. Do 13. He starts shaking left and right, and he pulls back and elbows you in the jaw, and you take it right in the chin, and you get knocked back, and your wings retract a bit out of uh, instinct, and you are uh, pushed back a, a foot or two, and he breaks out of your clutches, and he uh, he turns around. I don't, I don't know if it matters, do but um, the grappler and the person being grappled have minus two to their check. Uh, even uh, they do, even if a contested. If uh, you win and choose to grab hold of the defender instead of their things, both of you, both you and both of you are now considered to be in a grapple and take minus two to all actions for as long as. Oh, uh, so he could attack. Grapple. He could attack. Okay, gotcha. All right. Either way, uh, it doesn't matter for this because it was a contested roll, so they they would both end up at the same spot because uh, he tried to break free. But that's good to know. Thank you. Okay, um, and back at the top, Jareth, it's your turn. Uh, he's gonna crawl out of the car. Um, hearing hearing Jack will get excited about a hostage. Um, I know that's an action, so yeah, I would probably go out that guy that way and then pull out his stun gun and get ready to try and knock one of these. He gives the man a heavy pistol and he's got a heavy pistol. The stun gun. <laughs> I, I, I have that. I thought we yeah, I, I uh, went down to you, man. before I got, oh, okay. I got out. Yeah. Oh yeah. Make sure. And how many bullets did you give him? Uh, there's four. There's four in that. I told you that as well. You have, I said, yes, you have four you shots, say. make yeah. them count. Like, <laughs> okay. Half I half didn't know if we went back on that because it takes an action to get out the car. No, so, yeah, so just make sure you add those. Yeah. Make sure you add those. I can add them for you right now. If you'd like, actually. That. It's a very heavy pistol. It's got four shots. I can, yeah. What quality yeah. is it? Normal quality? Uh, I think it's just uh, normal, I believe. Okay. Uh, oh, it's premium. It's premium. Cause, uh, Ooh. Cause I'm oh, a, is I'm it? A, I'm a did you a premium <laughs> pistol? Oh, yeah. It's my well, job to That's kill people. That's his son. <laughs> That's his, you're his son right now. No, I'm, I'm carrying his son. <laughs> yeah, very heavy, very heavy pistol. No, that's what I'm going to be doing. Oh, your I'm modifier. sorry, what? <laughs> All right, yeah, you can go ahead and make your uh, your check there. Oh, pop off oh, the shot? Oh, sorry. No, no, you can't. You can move. You can yeah. move another five or six squares if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to move right here. Am I still in cover for all these guys? Uh, you are... Hold on one moment here. I take one shot and I'm down. <laughs> yeah, maybe stay in cover. Just, just stay, stay behind cover, you know, you don't have to move. Yeah, I'm going to stay behind this car right here in cover. Uh, now, I just, I'm going to, I'm just going to throw this out there because I feel like, uh, at this, yeah, this fight is like going okay, but look, we're very teetering here. So I'm just going to, I'm going to do that thing where I barter with the DM. Uh, the game yeah. master. Hello, game master. Yeah, yeah. Barter. I would argue, I would argue that because everybody got to get out without using an action, you could be kind to Jareth and give him the same courtesy you gave us. You're right. To allow him to just slide out and then 100%. shoot. 100%. I'm with you on that. You can shoot now if you'd like to. Uh, I will say that okay. cover, you're going to have to be a little bit further back, like here to stay in cover. Okay. Um... That is very much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you, gracious. That's, that's why you're the boss, Omen. I didn't think of that one. <laughs> that's you, Bijan. Um, okay, gosh. wait. What am I... What are we... Jared is shooting. Yeah, Jared's going to shoot. A shot. Go ahead and shoot, uh, then. Yeah, what is your... Um, you're with a pistol. Who are you, right. And you're shooting at who? Um, what's the ranges for pistols again? Uh, well, it depends on who you're Not shooting great, at. But, uh, it's, you need to hop out of cover to hit, uh, the guy, the only person that you could hit without, like, getting, exposing yourself deeply would be the guy that's out in the open who's, like, almost dead. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go for that guy then. 
Okay, so you here, your DV for this is pretty hard. Twenty. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, pretty it's gonna be twenty. He's far away, so. All right. Hey, but, um, if you got one, how much movement do you have? Actually, here it's you, now fifteen at this location. Um, I you said seven, right? It took me like uh, one to get out of the car. Yeah, you have plenty of room to get. You back have a the move cover. of six, so you took it took six, you one okay. to get out of the car. So you went one, and then you went two, three, four, and then you could get back here after yeah. your turn. Yeah, so you'd be back in cover. That works. You said DC fifteen. DV fifteen. DV. Give her. Come on, baby. Come on. Jerry's like, I can imagine him holding him with like two some. hands, like bracing himself. <laughs> We're gonna just dump all our luck into this. Let's oh, hope he remembers. Yeah. Like like Pray it. to the goblin gods. Yeah. Let's hope he, uh, he, he took the safety off. He holds it with both his hands. He's got it. Eh. He's got it. He's Wines shaking his a little. stance, braces himself. Oh. Yo! Ooh, good thing you moved up because oh, that in. barely hits. Uh, and My boy. Uh, and with this bullet, t explain to me what this kill is like. Is this your? Yeah. Is this your first time killing somebody? Yo. Uh, out, outside of the net space, yes. Okay. Oh my yeah, you've God, probably you've probably iced still. some people while net running. Yes. But he's, you've never seen it. You know, you never see what that looks like, right? Like that's that's always there, where they're at. Mm -hmm. He just hears the screams before they just disconnect. Um, mm -hmm. He's never actually witnessed someone uh, someone's death. Yeah. So explain what this death looks like to Jareth, and how does this affect you? Um, I think he's he's just thinking back, and he's like, oh, so this is probably what it looked like to Frost when uh, because he only saw the aftermath of what Frost was, and now he's he, he, I think he thinks back to her and how she got taken out when he uh, shoots this guy, but he also noticed that two of his his edge runners were in a bad position with this guy. And, you know, you gotta, you gotta pick and choose what's, what matters more. Okay. Would this? Do you think this would be traumatic for you? I would roll that. Yeah. You would. Okay, you can roll one d six humanity loss. Yeah. Do do do. I'll just roll a d six. Where would I find that? Just slash roll in the comments. D6. There we go. Four. All right, you lose four humanity. Ooh. Spicy. And that puts your empathy down below 60, which puts you down at a, uh, or humanity down below 60, which puts you at an empathy of Five out of seven now. Still good though. Oh. You're still. You're good. Until you well, get below save, 30. I'm you're saving fine. that for more cyber gear. Back. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can, but, you um, still get better still cyber can, gear. You know? As he still holds can, it, yeah. he just mutters under his breath. He's like, his eyes are hazy. It's like mostly a blur. He doesn't even see the person. He just goes. Fucking Goblin King, and he pulls the trigger. <laughs> uh, King shit. That's what Omen says when he pulls the trigger. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that's my boy. And um, and with that, uh, the shotgunner that is near you, Reverie, uh, he looks at the uh, the driver and he says, "Fuck this! They're stronger than he's. Let's get the fuck out of here." And, uh... Yeah, fuck him, go! And he's gonna roll. He hits. Me? Oh, he hits you. Oh! Ooh. oh this I is thought they were rough. running! Oh, this is gonna be bad. <laughs> Shotgun he point blank rage. hits oh. you. I don't think it does that much damage, although, depending on your armor... Uh, 11 damage to you. Oh. So what is your your armor is at 8 right now. So you only take 3 to the body, but you mm -hmm. ablate one more damage to that stopping power. Uh, and he's going to make a run. 
he starts to, to make a break for it. I thought that guy had a pistol. Uh, he's... Oh, sorry. I'm confused in my head. Uh, he had a shotgun on him. Actually, I guess I should have rolled pistol damage. Okay. Shouldn't I? Which is, I think, the same. It's also 46, right? Okay, so I'll yeah. just take the... Yeah, so it's the same. Okay, I'll do Yeah, it should have been a pistol. You're right. He changed to a pistol because of the, the range that he was at, and he did just drop the shotgun. Yeah. I did not use an action to switch my weapons, so that there is just a shotgun uh, on the floor right now. Um, and yeah, that was a pistol. We're going to say there's a pistol shot, and he makes a break for it. Uh, and... And the driver, uh, I got you know what I got all confused with the initiative, so I'm 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 kind of forgetting what order these guys are in. But I'm gonna go ahead and say they're making a retreat for it right now. All right. Uh, okay. And yep, he's just gonna dash. And then that puts us at Jackal's turn. Uh, I'm going to, wait one second. So I was mistaken. Oh. A grenade is five by five squares. Oh. Not, the shotgun is three by three. That could have changed oh. everything. That's that could have been a I huge thought. difference. Yes. Oh my God. I'm so oh, sorry. Yes. No, it's a, no, I, I said three by three, so I, I gave you the wrong information. I should have known that. Uh, yeah, um, I should have known it too. Game's a little bit crunchy. I will, yeah, I will, a little bit. Yeah, a little smidge. bit. Uh, a I'm, I'm going to see them running. And... Oh, God. Jackal don't give a fuck. Remember that. Jackal I know. Yeah, he, you're right. He doesn't. He's He, he wants to do this, so I'm going to do it. Um, I'm gonna move up three squares. Okay. And I'm gonna throw a flashbang at him to make him stop. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. So go ahead and throw that and uh, yeah. explain the rules of your of the flashbang. Flashbang is. Do, 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 do. It's a oh, DV a DV15 resist torture. On a fail, they take damaged eye and damaged ear critical injuries for one minute. But no, so the five the five damage from a crit is not put through. Um, they have minus two to any ranged attack from the damaged eye. And since their eardrums are burst, if they move, they cannot move next turn. So they have to stand still. Okay, well, one of them succeeds. Okay. And starts to make their way off off the map, really. Uh, I should alter our vision. Yeah. Oh, my chance to use my sniper. Yeah. Uh, but this other one, he does take it. So it does, uh, uh, you said it does two damage? No, zero damage. Okay. But they take, uh, he has a damaged, blown eardrum. Uh, yeah, damaged yeah, so eye he has damaged ear critical injuries. Yep. So if he moves more than four meters, he cannot move again. Ooh. Ooh. Automatically critical injuries. Oh God, this guy. Well, this guy's fucked. It's like he's not getting away from you. I'll tell you that much. Uh, he goes to to make his move two meters, four meters, and he collapses on the ground, clutching his ears as this ringing just reverberates through his skull uh yeah and you guys obviously everyone in the street you you hear an explosion go off you know you're mm -hmm. like what the fuck just happened yeah yeah you hear oh, that yeah. flashbang goes off uh <sighs> maybe you give like a hoot and a holler and you hear a uh you, you see this blinding light uh although it doesn't affect you in the same way um and uh Who's next in the initiative order? Omen. I'll give everybody one more shot. Omen, Reverie, Bishop. One more action. Go ahead and tell me what you're what you're gonna do here. 
Uh, yeah, I just pull, uh, I just, uh, you know, grab the, the AR and just take a knee and then I just, uh, fucking, like, kind of scope down and, like, while well, he's just, like, a sitting target, so I'm just gonna fire a, fire a shot. Not at the, not at the guy running away, the guy that's, uh, that's incapacitated. Okay. Uh, yeah, because you said the other guy's gone, right? Like, he's... I, he's almost off the map. But um, only because I don't have more map. I mean, technically, you could still yeah, see Yeah, him. yeah, uh, yeah. I can still hit him, so, yeah. I'll, I'll, fuck yeah, I'll shoot at the guy running. Where does he think he's going? <laughs> Damn. So, You're not, what's, can you hit that shot? It, sh it shows from my position a DV-13. So, Damn, so I don't okay. Know. Like, this, is, this, is what rifles, this is what rifles are good for. Long yeah. range. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Um, like what does it what does it do if I aim right? Like what does that do? Negative Minus eight to your hit chance, but you're gonna choose. You can choose to hit him in the leg, which will give him the broken leg critical injury. He'll drop to the floor. You'll. I'll say if you hit him uh, in the that's, if you hit him in the leg, he's not getting away. I'll, I'll yeah, that's that that's what I would do. Like if I miss, I miss. But like I 100 percent am gonna take an aim for the back of his kneecap Ooh. and just try to like dissect the bat the blower. We love a gambling man. Leg, so. love we it. love a gambling. We love a gambling. I'm gonna do that. I only have I only have one luck left, so I'm gonna use it. So, but yeah, why why not? <laughs> you know why not? Like let's so have some fun DV with it. So the DV 21 because it's 13 and then minus eight. Well, it's gonna oh, no, it's gonna do the minus eight. Got it. Yeah. It's gonna add it in yeah. automatically. Yeah. So oh, this let's... is not this is not gonna. Oh. oh. Mm. No, no cigar. Yeah. There, unfortunately. That's okay. I tried. That's okay. I tried. Uh, man. Bishop or uh, Reverie? Is there anything that you want to do? I'm gonna say specifically to the guy trying to escape. This is your last chance to stop this other guy from escaping. Damn. Uh, if I if I move next to Jareth, can I try and hit him? Sure. Right now, your DV is 20. Oh, no. Your DV from here is... Actually, your DV is 13. You just don't have a clear line oh, of sight. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. You, you so have an assault rifle. Right? You have a rifle, too, yeah. right? Oh, you I, have a rifle. I, I do have a rifle. Rifles are long range. So stuff. you just need to, like, get, like, like here so that you've got, like, a clear line of sight on him. Oh, my God. Hang You're on. good. Oh, my God. Hang on. That's a 13 DV. Uh, you want to do the aim shot to try? And, you also want to try an aim shot, or uh, you're just gonna try and hit him? Uh, I think I'm just gonna. I will say, I'm just... unless you like crit the hell out of this, it's probably get like you're not gonna kill yeah, him. This guy did hit. not take any is damage. There, is there any way I can assist in this? Can we combine our action in any way? If, if, I, if how I would dash you have after assist... him, how would you assist if him? I... If I dash Just after this motherfucker and tackle him. Let's see how far, what is your Would dash? that give Dan a better shot? You can move 10 squares. One, two, yeah. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I could nine. catch him. And you cannot make it in time. I'm sorry. Oh, no. it's that. Oh, would, that's a, okay. that's a I would have said yes if you were if you were within 10 squares of him. I would have said yes. Fuck. You could assist him with the bum rush. Okay. Go ahead and make your shot, uh, uh, Bishop. Uh, yeah. What? Let's, let's do this. If you want to do aimed, you can click on the aim button uh, there. I'm not, no, I'm not going to aim. I'm just going to. Oof. Wait, what is. What is with your weapon here? What, what about it? Oh, yeah, you aren't getting your bonus for the heavy weapons. Why? Yeah. Why? Why does your gun say rifle, but it's like a pistol, and it only does one d six damage? <laughs> what the? That's just the rifle that I had from the menu. Like it does this regular rifle. Hold on. What kind of gun oh, do you have? An assault rifle? Or oh, I shoot. So, sorry, I was saying this. Hit the regular rifle, not the assault rifle. Hang on. Uh, that, that's on me. Got a bolt action out. Sorry, I didn't notice yeah. that earlier. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> what, is, <laughs> what is this? Gun? Sorry, we're, we're... No, hang on, hang on. Okay. Assault, sorry, my assault rifle was not the one equipping him. Okay. If your boy and... came out here ready to uh, liberate us from the British. There you go. Damn, go for him. That's there way go. better. That's that way was better. Way better. Yeah. That's a better hit. <laughs> Give her. Ooh. Ooh, that's a spicy hit, bitch. Also, yeah, it wasn't using the right. Oh, and you did a critical. Di Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So. Oh, this is our first critical guy. damage. I can't wait. Okay, so how are we gonna roll that? We're gonna roll it, it easily using 
the critical injury table. You did not aim for his head, right? This is not an aimed shot. That is correct. Okay. Well, with this, you did 21. Holy shit. <laughs> you messed him up. I was, th I was saying there's no way you're going to kill him with one hit, but you did. Here he is. You shot <gasps> him right through the lung. Uh, the critical, had he not died, would have collapsed his lungs, which would have meant Ooh. that he could not do, uh, he would have had a, a subtraction to his movement speed as it would have been very winding for him to do any kind of movement. Uh, but as such, you just tore a hole through his chest and the man died. Ooh, Bishop, yeah. look at my shot. I'm just gonna, that's hot. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna blow the smoke from the barrel. Ooh. Bishop takes pawn E5. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so upset we don't have Dan's camera. I know, yeah, right? What, what's it going hurts. on with the camera? What what happened there? So uh, my light says it's on, but my permission says no. Oh, you, that, in, that ping? in ping? In yeah. ping, yeah. I've I tried resetting it like five times now. Might need to get George in here. Yeah, we'll figure this out next time. Okay, and uh, with that, we are going to go ahead and end combat uh you kill your last uh attempted escapee and you've got one person uh down on the uh, uh on the ground here collapsed from this uh, flashbang grenade unable to uh to move they are uh, they're out of commission right now uh what is it that you all want to do uh, you want to take this person? There's also somebody still in the car. Yeah, I was, I was just about to that. say that huh. you, I was going to clear the car. Like, so as soon as like as soon as he's like down on the ground, um, uh, Omen will again like quickly and deftly uh, put the the katana away, and then uh, he's just you know assault rifle up, and he's just going to be like clearing the car. So he's going to be working his way towards the car with the gun aimed and kind of like trying to work his way to see. If he can see, because he doesn't know that there's anybody in the car, but 100%, that's just like tactically, you clear the car and make sure there's no. Oh, other don't worry, combatants. she's she's doing this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you, you see, you see a woman see her in the car, this. and it's clearly a net runner. You can tell by the garb, and she's wearing the uh, the VR visor. Oh, and she is uh, all but passed out in the back seat there, curled up. Mm. Jareth will walk around the other side, pistol still up. Uh, no clue how to have, hold it correctly. <laughs> I love I'm, this for him. <laughs> I'm, I'm right behind Jareth. I'm just, uh, I, I pat him on the back. Good shot. So who are you you're approaching this woman first in the car? Oh, who's 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 was. approaching? Who's gonna who's gonna reach out to her first? I'm just pointing her out. That's all. I, uh, I, I think I think once I I see that and she's like doesn't isn't seem like a threat, then I just I like give a nod to like Jareth and Bishop because Jareth can probably speak more of her lingo or whatever. You know what I mean? Like if she's a net runner, like I'm oh, sure you all, can get better all, answers than me. All so I'm gonna go to the guy other? that's that down on the saying? ground probably with Jackal. Oh yeah, Jack Jackal Jackal's next to this guy. Yeah, I'm uh, gonna go. I'm gonna work that way now that it doesn't seem like she's that much of a threat. Um, and. Yeah, head over to that guy. Okay. Hey, thanks for the raid. Thank you for the raid. Thank, Thank you. you for the raid. Very nice. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to speak a little louder. I think his eardrums are blown. Or guy. Yeah, so. Whatever. Whoever you want to start with. A yeah. Critical... Uh, go ahead, uh, Jackal and, and Omen, with your. Uh... Oh you want me, God. Want me to oh. kill him? Or you want oh. you want to tear gate him? I don't know. Fuck you. Fuck you. I want... Fuck. Want to ask oh, some fuck questions. Me. You, you, you chased after us, you dumb son of a bitch. Fuck you dumb son of a bitch. Shut the fuck up. Oh. I, I, like, the floor. Obviously, kick kick the gun away, and then like I press my knee like down onto his sternum, uh, like heavy, uh, and then uh, I just have the the rifle like right next to his head, and I just kind of like slap him a little bit. Focus, focus, and I just give him a second to like gather his shit. Because I know he's like fucked up until it kind of seems like he's a little bit more coherent. Why did you you chase us? Just a job, man. You know how it goes. Just a 
just a job. Specifically for us, we were the mark. Just work security, man. That's it. Just work security. For? For, uh, Fuse. You are lying. It is wise that you do not lie to me. You clearly are not the same individuals that we took care of in the building. Do you want to walk away from this? He looks you dead in the eyes. There's no walking away from this. And as you look him in the eyes, you see him start to... He starts to stutter and jerk around. And you you hear a little... And, uh, and with this little sparkle of electricity, you see the light go from behind his eyes and he dies and that's why I don't have cyberware in my body because that like shit like that that's what happens I told you I told you Omen that's why your brain start leaking out from your ears and anybody can do that to you (sighs) did not did not tell you that fuck we needed answers but he wasn't gonna talk anyway thank you for the raid thank you for the raid raid again I wouldn't talk Obviously, this person ain't me, but... I suppose you are right. I guess we should search them. And I kind of, like, get up off of his sternum, and I just, like, with the assault rifle down to my side, I just, like, turn, and I just put one in his chest just to make sure. Like, I just just unload one more and just put it into his chest. Uh, And then uh, I kind of glance over there, and then I will, like, bend back down and, like, search for his... uh, See what he's got on him. Just to see if there's anything useful. Um, yeah, okay. So, searching him, you're going to find a, uh, a high-quality, very heavy pistol. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, and a, uh, a excellent quality. I mean, they're both the same. I said high and then excellent, but they're both the same meaning. Uh, a high-quality shotgun was what he had deposited, uh, back by the car. Um, you are going to find a uh, poor quality assault rifle on. If you, if we're going to search the other bodies, you're going yeah. to find a poor quality assault rifle, uh, and you're going to want to write these down. Um, mm-hmm. I'm doing it. Poor quality assault rifle, poor quality pistol, uh, another uh, average quality pistol, and a uh, poor quality shotgun. Got it. This is what they were carrying on them. Uh, as for credit chips, uh, assorted between them, you're going to find ooh, 50 euro bucks between them. They're not traveling very heavy in coin. Um, they each do have some cyberware. Uh, however, that would require you to get one of these bodies into your car and uh, have reverie. Yep. You could you could do that. Um, it's seat six. It's seat six. They're just bodies. They don't need to be comfortable. You're yeah. not going to have room in the trunk we because you're going to be more. carrying those rifles, which... Yeah, we are. Yeah, the weight and encumbrance is all the common sense rule in Cyberpunk. So, you know, if you want... Like, we can pick up everything off of everybody on the floor, but you got to be able to hold it. So, you know, I'm going to just say on average, one person can hold two large guns like one and you know what i mean like and you can have one strapped to your back i would say would be at most yep yeah and we can like throw it in the trunk and then uh which so i know so i think one thing that omen notices is that so was the uh high quality stuff was specifically from this guy and everybody else kind of had mid level things no there was another high quality mixed in there from someone else this guy did happen to have two high qualities on him Okay. But he wasn't the only one with high quality. Yeah, I think... Uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to take all these guys back. So mm-hmm. uh, am I able to determine 
who would be the leader of this group like it uh, seemed oh, like probably. like did we see the person who yelled out to the other guy like we need to get out like fuck this like it seemed like he was the leader i don't know if like uh it would be either him or the driver you would guess um uh, so another thing you noticed no agents on any of these people oh mm. yeah okay um, that's weird mm -hmm. people can have internal agents yep yeah uh, I, uh, you, go deal go with ahead. the car go deal with the, the broad in the car and uh, send bishop over here let's see if he can pull anything from this guy speaking right. of bishop uh, how's the girl in the car looking when I open the door when you open the door she's looking hurt she's kind of uh her eyes are like squinted shut and and she's going oh fuck oh fuck fuck and she's rolling around covering her eyes easy there sweet cheeks take a breath oh no oh god are they dead are they are they dead fuck yeah all of them Okay, that's fine. That's okay. Um, any chance you you guys are gonna let me go? Oh, well, Jared. uh, that uh yeah. depends. I wasn't trying to kill you. I'm 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 just a net runner. I just a net runner. Uh, Jareth takes the heavy pistol and puts it to her head. Sacred. Oh, what is that? Is that a gun? Fuck. Her eyes are still are just squeezed shut. All right, uh, let's start this simple. You got a name? Uh, I go by Socket. All right, that's something. Jared's just go? looking at you. That's kind of a question. <laughs> All right, and uh, what were you doing running with them? It's just, just working a job, just needing to, you know, work uh, net architecture, and uh, yeah, and I guess you guys uh, broke in and uh, they went crazy and they uh, said I needed to come with them and they uh, they just pulled me pulled me right out. I didn't get a chance to jack out. And, uh... and she shudders as she remembers the pain of being pulled, ripped out of the net architecture. Uh, which, Jareth, uh, you're are you you're here right for this conversation? You're at the she, car. The pistol to her head. <laughs> yeah. Oh right. Yeah. You're holding the pistol to her head. You you know what that means. That means that when she got pulled out, every bit of black ice, every attacking program, everything took shots on her on the way out. And with what you saw in there, I mean, frankly, you're amazed she's alive. Still, still, still kicking. Um, but he also knows if she was in there, then she's the reason why he's so jacked up right now. Um, and so he's gonna. You said it's a revolver. It's a heavy pistol. It's a heavy pistol. heavy pistol. Okay. Um, then he just push, presses it against her temple, um, and he's going to lean in. Now, I don't know how to use this correctly, so I need you to be <laughs> very cautious, cautious with what you say next. Okay. All right. Who were the gonks working for? I don't know. You, you know I can't tell you who I'm working for. You know, you know how these jobs work. I mean, I'm I'm as good as dead. I can't okay, do that. Okay, he pulls the hammer back. <laughs> oh, come on, please. please. I, oh, hang, hang on, hang on, Jareth. I'm just kind of gonna reach over. I'm gonna turn the safety on, knowing that he has no clue what that means. <laughs> you turn the safety on. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Now you're good. Please don't. I. I... Look, I'm just trying to get by. I just, I've got a kid. I just want to retire early. Please. If you could all just walk away. Um. 
I was gonna say, I was gonna say, uh, do you hear sirens approaching? But no, you're in the middle of a combat zone. So no, you do not hear sirens approaching. However, a firefight in the middle of the street, in the middle of a combat zone, just so you know, is going to draw some attention from somebody eventually. Ah, shit. Um, I think, I think, Might Jared, I just... a car yet, or... or sure. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna say, now listen, Chum, we're the nice ones. <laughs> so, if you really think, if you really want to get back home to your child, I really hope you have a better answer than that. I, I got, I got nothing. Like, you know how it is with us net runners. Like we're not pulling the trigger. Like it's we're just doing a job. What is she saying? Uh, she's saying that you should be the one doing this interrogation. It go a lot quicker. I'm no, just gonna, no, no. Okay. I'm gonna pat him on the back. I'm gonna go see Jack. I'm gonna right. do the same and hand him his gun back. This oh, man no. is not doing the interrogation. No, 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 no. I'm, and I'm weaseling I, my way in between. I kneel down. Uh, Jareth, what is wrong with her? Well, she didn't jack out properly, so she's all types of fucked up. She's, she, she's. I'm surprised she's even moving, even talking right now. She says she's good as dead if she gives us information, but I'm surprised if she maybe the time that she's using right now is gifted to her. Right. And what is her name? Any details given to this point? Socket. Socket. Yeah, kid. Oh, you do. How old? Eight. Eight. That's... Her eyes are still clenched tightly shut. That is a fun time, though they get a little rambunctious around that age. What's their name? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to tell you. I don't want to tell you. That's you understand that, right? That is irrelevant on whether you tell me or not. Here's the situation: either you give me information I want, and I put a bullet in your brain, nice and quick, or I keep you alive and I kill your kid in front of you. Oh, man, bro. So, oh, which that puts it me in a pretty bad situation. That's, uh, oh, that's what I would call a lose-lose situation. Then um, give me something that will give you a win. You don't have to die, but you need to understand the stakes that you are in. What was the job specifically? <sighs> she takes a deep sigh. And if I don't tell you, you're going to find my kid? I think that is pretty obvious. Well, good luck, I'm like a fucking ghost. And she opens her eyes and takes a look around at all of you. And as she looks I'll, at- I'd immediately shoot her. Yeah, I, I, I would say as, as soon as she says that, 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 that hammer's going off. Like, I'd... Bro, the safety's on. I know, I'm trying to shoot her, and it's not happening, but as a net runner, <laughs> if I see her trying to get a good look at us, mm -hmm. I'd immediately, then I'd be like, fuck. I, I, Kill I, I just, I, I, take the, I take the handgun from you, glance, look at it, and then I just, sorry, in, and I pull the trigger. In, in that time, before you're able to pull the trigger, because the safety was jammed, you see uh, that her, uh, as her eyes lock on you, she looks at you quickly, Jareth, then Omen, then Reverie. And then same thing that happened to the other guy. You hear a sizzle, a pop, and you see a little bit of smoke coming out from like the base of her neck. And, uh, and she goes limp and she dies. You're all idiots, do you know that? It didn't have to go that way. Fuck. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Jareth, if that happens, can you salvage anything? Oh my. Oh. Bishop, what? you can you you tap into anything either? 
I don't know how like you know like brain recorders and shit work, but could you like pull something out of that? Yeah, I could take a look. We'll take both him and the girl if we can fit them both. You can Let's fit get out one of, of them in there. We need to take her. Net net runners are, uh, you know, these uh, these these gonks are about a dime a dozen, but she fucked you up this bad, Jared. She's she's worth something. Right. Hopefully she has some gear. Get off, man. What's with all your caterwauling over there, girl? What's going on? Me? Is that who you're speaking to? You're the only one that's speaking up. Oh, because the way you operate makes no sense. If we had fixed her up, if you had let me spend time with her, let me talk to her like a person for five fucking minutes, instead of treating her well, like- Let me guess, you, you still got 30 rounds in that magazine? No, I, yes, I haven't <laughs> fired a I single thought. shot. That's what I thought. Because I can get what I want without time. firing a gun. We don't have time for this here. Grab her, grab the stuff, and we need to go. Man, this is a nice car, though. Which it was. Uh, and I'm just going to do a quick search uh, of the car, glance, see if I if I see anything, like if I can open the trunk. I'm just going to do a quick, like, rummage through uh, just to see if there's anything I can like, see or find. Um. Oh, yeah. You know, that does remind me. Each of those bodies that you uh each of those guns that you had would have had 10 rounds of ammo to go with them okay now you can divide that um how you'd like to or you could try and uh, and sell these yeah. things and then uh yeah and then uh yeah i'll do a quick look at the car see if there's anything in the car in the trunk in the in glove box just a quick like glance through Okay. We gotta go. Wh whoever she was working for knows all our faces at this point. Where we are, we are fucked. We are already fucked. You go ahead and drive off. Where where are you gonna go? You 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 pile the body and the gear into the car. Where are you heading? They don't have any base, do they? Do we oh, have no. a hideout? You don't have a hideout, no way. <laughs> uh, she's gonna give him directions to her clinic. That's you guys usually meet at the um, the garage that Bishop works at. You could meet. Yeah, yeah I would say you probably <laughs> normally meet at a, at an edge running bar. That's probably pay, it's where business They're gets done. They're fucked up. So you were at I forget the name of the my Euro books. It myself. <laughs> survive the survive and conquer is mm -hmm. usually where you guys you know hang out. Um, you have your office, uh, reverie. That is a potential location you could bring them. Especially because, I mean, they are hurt and they all need treatment from you. They're all fucked up and they all need treatment. We should probably go to a place right. that, you know, has a medical facility. You yeah, I think my kidney need... fell out. And, and, and he might not do this right away, but, you know, you eventually need to go and uh, talk to Rogue. So... Yeah. Uh, as far as if there's any other places that you think might be safe to handle what you need to do in the immediate future, feel free to shoot them out there. But those are the places that I. No, I, I would say I would on. say Omen. Omen would say would would agree to go to Reveries because it's one, it's close, so we can get off the grid sooner rather than later. Um, and she's got med tools and stuff to patch everybody up, so. And it's it's in a in a not police slash other interested party, you know, combat zone's pretty free for all. Yeah, so we'd be safe there, at yeah. least for a little bit. Well, I mean safe ish. Safe as you can be, I suppose. In the combat zone. I don't antagonize any of the people who protect me there. <laughs> That's on them. As as we as we get in the in the car, uh, you know, we get this uh, deceased net runner in the in the sixth seat. Jackal's gonna look back and be like, look at the dead body, be like, buckle up, and just and just peel yeah. away. <laughs> <laughs> and to note, I'm back in the front seat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jared. Jared. 
Okay. Sure. He just kind of like falls back next to Jareth, like clutching the bullet wound. Like, oh man, you didn't get shot. That's no fair. You make your way. Um, <laughs> you make your way through the combat zones back into uh, the combat zone that uh, that Reverie resides in, which is just below University Districts. And I cannot remember the name of the combat zone at this time. Uh, but as you pull into uh, Reverie's, you know, area of operations, uh, you would all notice that like. I don't think you would expect to be driving where you're driving. I don't think any of you expect to stay in the combat zone when you no. reach your destination, right? So, like, I, I, and she goes, like, yeah, it's just, it's just up here over to the left. You're going to make a left here and then a right. <laughs> you see those um those gates that are, like, falling off the hinges and, like, you know, next to, like, the burning uh, uh, trash can. Uh, you're going to want to pull in that way. And she guides you through. And as she pulls in, you're like, I didn't think that it could become a worse part of town, but it got even worse. <laughs> uh, what are what are your reactions as she as she pulls you through to this, uh, this area? This, just, I think, yeah, I think all just says nice place. You 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 live in the combat zone? Did you not think that I did? <laughs> no, I thought you lived in like some richy ritzy <laughs> area, covered no. in football money. I live here. And you've never shot that SMG? Never had to. Oh, you're one lucky son of a gun, I'll tell you that. No, I'm just smart. Could be both. Or naive. I said I get out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you park on the corner next to the clinic, and you, um, uh, as you start to get out of the car, uh, you would all clock immediately how very close she has directed you to a group of uh, 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 of, of road gangers. Like the, there is a uh, you okay. see you see three people sitting uh, standing on a street corner, kind of just loitering there, and they've got nasty looking cyberware just jutting out of their arms. They, some of them look like they're bleeding from the, from she gets the cyberware. Out and that they she have. waves to them, like just the Miss Reverie, oh, Miss Reverie, hey. <laughs> Oh, those those are don't mind them. They're they're no trouble at all. She kind of like says to you all like, oh, "Don't mind." Wait, them. Uh, who are your friends there? They, they're not giving you any trouble, are, are they, Rev? Not yet. They're not. They need horribly patched up. If you couldn't tell. Okay, because we'll. But I'll you let know, you know. Cause we'll we'll fuck them up. We'll rip their limbs out, take their eyeballs, put them in a stew. We'll we'll, we'll fuck she them up. She just looks back. I like the conversation they were just having of like, I don't need to shoot guns to get what I want conversation. <laughs> People I, do yeah, that I for just, me. Omen, Omen like stares and then like he sighs and under his breath, amateurs. And he just like goes to head inside. Like he just, oh, 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 oh wait, are you, you working right now? Are you going in, you going inside? I was gonna start working. Hold on, inside. hold on, wait, wait. What? We, we prepared something for you. Oh no. We oh. Prepared. We prepared yeah? something for. Oh my god, I'm so glad. I'm so excited we get to show her tonight. Okay. Um, okay. If you could just close your eyes as you walk in. Okay. And then I'll flip the light switch, and then you can open. Oh my god. Uh, of course, of great. course. I'll I'll time it. I'll time it perfectly. She'll she'll like get to the doors and close her eyes, and she'll do exactly as they tell her to. Okay. Jared is remembering he has three bullets. All right. <laughs> Three, two, one. Open your eyes. Go open her and eyes. And you open your eyes, and you see a horrifying display in front of you. You see that suitcase that that uh, that shadow petal had been shoved into. Uh, yeah. You see it open, like like it's displayed, and rising from the suitcase uh, is a mess of bloody body parts. It is. It is Shadow Petal. He has been hacked up. He has been chopped and, and arranged to resemble a rose with thorns out of his body part. They've, they've created oh a tableau for you. Ah, you didn't you make mean? it. He fucking died, you know? I just thought you did such, it was such a nice thing. You did working for us after. You didn't have to do it. You're not on the clock. And I thought maybe something good could come out of this and we made you this art. Huh? This is... 
This is beautiful. You really are visionaries, boys. It's a rose. Uh, do you get it? Like do you see game. it? It's, a, it's like the thorn and the it's, petals. It's, it's just like shadow petal in your gang. Yes, it makes so much sense. You're all so smart. I, my, my mom used to say that I, I could be an artist, you know? You, you, should, you should take it up more. Mm -hmm. You're really good at it. Mm -hmm. We should I get like... you some spray paints. Maybe oh, you could yeah. start spraying on the outside of the clinic. It would be we got, nice. We got tons of spray paint, you know, like you want you wanna you want some? And he pulls out a little can and he huffs some, <laughs> some of the spray paint. I love these boys! <laughs> I think you should decorate the whole area in roses and thorns. That would be beautiful. Oh yeah. I'm gonna need a lot more bodies though for that kind of bouquet. Mm. I know. We left a couple down the block there. Well, well, we, 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 I'll find bodies. I got no shortage of bodies. Don't worry about that. Uh, all right. Well, uh, just wanted to show you, the, you know, the surprise. Ah. Okay, thank you very much. It means a lot. All right. Um, and he goes for a hug. Uh, she'll like air hug learning her lesson last time. Cause like <laughs> just kind of, uh, if you wouldn't mind, um, would you keep an eye out for a... Uh... And she'll just, like, were the people who chased them, like, wearing any notifying clothes marks? Oh, no, no. Um, if you want to make a human perception check on what they look like. Yeah, just, like, uh, a way that I could essentially describe them. Yeah. Strangers, people that don't come around. Uh, here 14. 14. Okay. Well, just because of your particular uh, experience growing up in a corpo lifestyle, you're thinking these guys have a corporate connection. You've seen these kind of unmarked security men before uh, dressing nice, but not too nice. You know, gotcha. they blending into the crowd in, in certain areas. Uh, so okay. that would be, um, but 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 you would case. also know that they're not. They generally don't have their company logo emblazoned on the uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Militech. As, <laughs> yeah, as she's kind of like air hugging. Just if you wouldn't mind, anyone who's not like there are people who frequent our area, right? Like regulars and gangs we know around the area. If mm -hmm. there's anyone who isn't. Not our friends. Would you let me know if you see anyone nearby? Okay, yeah. You want us to, like, bring you their heads, or you just... <laughs> I... Actually, if you could bring them to me alive, that would be even better. Then we can I don't know if they would art. stay alive once I take the head off. I think they might, that might do it. Well, if you could um, refrain from removing their head before... Okay. Let me talk to them. And then you can take off their head. And we can make art. That sounds great. Also, like my psychotic kindergarten teacher. My, <laughs> um, my, my finger kind of hurts. It just, does it, does it look okay? And he shows it and he just, this is just another, you, you like childish, like he's got a little bruise on his finger, you know? <laughs> this man, uh, oh my God, this man. Um. This is probably just on her. Pulls out a band-aid. Puts it on his finger. <laughs> it should be okay now. Sure. And you tend to him and he he's happy to receive your attention as always. And he goes and, and does uh, the job that you asked him to. He goes on, on lookout for you. Um, and he says to, to uh, his companions, Morning Ember and Wilted Soul, uh, yeah, we're, uh, uh, we got a job to do. We gotta bring the heads to her, attached to the bodies. Nope, no killing. We're gonna anybody we find. All right. <laughs> and uh, they all snap to attention and they go uh, prowling around their territory. As soon as they leave, and we have the place to ourselves, I'm immediately gonna start moving the art. I'm not gonna destroy it because it was a gift, a human body flesh art gift. 
She's just gonna kind of try and heave it up and move it. Okay. Ah. We should be safe here for a little bit. Um, with... We have lookouts. And I don't think they know who I am. Um, most of you look like shit. So who would like to go first? I feel great. Well, then how would you like to be my assistant for the day, Jackal? <laughs> oh, uh, never been much with bodies. I can look under a hood, but... Uh, People aren't too much different from cars when you think about it. I guess. No, no, no. She's right. She's right. Start with, start with Jareth over there. I think his brain's are leaking out of his ears. Yeah. Yes, his we need him to also is... look at the net runner with Bishop. So focus on him first. I do not mind the pain. You're also jacked up on drugs, which uh, yeah. I had to guess. You got about 20 minutes before you start feeling like shit. It's fine. Yeah. I will be okay. You know, while they're working on that, you want to toss me that data we nabbed? See if I can crack a thing or two. Right. And uh, mm. I, like, search in my, my pocket, and I, I, like, go to the other pocket. Fuck. And I, I pull it out, and it's just like fucking shattered. It's just like it's like in pieces. Uh, you think either of you could salvage this? I think it might be a cold day in hell that you oh. actually fucked something up. Jared kicks a chair. Is that our fucking payday? It partially. Partially. Well, we How did that happen? Jobs. You get you get shot right there? Or what the fuck? I got shot a lot and <laughs> blown out of a building. Why didn't you just you, put it in the trunk? You were outside. You weren't in the building. It was a bit hazy. I was running. There was an explosion. Oh, I hit the car. Oh, fuck. Jared is very pacing. Hard. He is <laughs> pacing right now. I think maybe Bishop and Jared, maybe you could find something with this, perhaps. And he just hands you, like... You didn't make a <laughs> copy or, or nothing like that? You didn't, like, copy it in your brain or, like, when you found it? I... No. I, well, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe Bishop can do that. That is why I'm giving it to them. Right. I'll see what I can do. Oh. See what you uh, can Craig, do. I think you're, you're uh, muted. Am I muted? I think it's low. Oh, you're good. No, oh, I hear it. It's quiet. Oh, okay. So, what, do, what do you mean you can see what you can do? It's fucked. We're fucked. Who it are those not... people? There's a sliding scale of fucked, Goblin King. Yeah, and that, the, the little dust chips that you have in your hand, you know you can't do anything with that. Why were they and... shooting at you, Almond? That's a good question. Shooting at all of us. No, they had a perfect shot at Jackal, and they chose to shoot at you. Well, Kid's right. I have made a bit of a name for myself. I think we all have, but I've never seen one crew go after one person when there was five of us. Also, they could have just missed him. Uh, he kind of had me dead to rights. Well... I do not have answers for you. Otherwise, well, I would be a little bit more productive. And then she, and he points to the corpse of Socket. And then she's got, she's basically got all of us made, catching our eye, ch catching her eyes on us at the end of that. Uh, not me. Was I was behind on? the car. Yeah, not me. I booed out of line of sight. Okay. <laughs> and so, if they were here to kill us, they we are already made. Yes, if that is what you're going with. Well, I mean, how famous are you, Brev? In I... certain circles? Very. I, I wouldn't know. I just help people. I'm not out here So for there's no way to find you, to find connections to you? A netrunner couldn't just look you up if they wanted to? I mean, they could find me at my university, but... You're still in school? 
I was. I just finished. Oh, that's right. Frost did say you just graduated. That's right. That's right. He's just full spiral and, conspiracy theory right now. Oh I, and God. as uh, Omen is uh, is kind of, he's got the the broken pieces of this data chip in his hand. Uh, like Reverie, how does that make you feel? Like this is what you were here to. Obtain, I know it's only ten years of. Well, I had I had thought of a time she would bring this up, but um, I look. <laughs> There's a lot to discuss. First, we should really address the fact that you need to work on your people skills because when I tried to push you into a car to save your life, you choked me. Second, you knew how important that chip was to me. I told you in confidence. Do you remember? I remember that you are seeking information. Yes. On my family. Is that not something that's relatable to everyone? That is very much, I'm sure, relatable to some. Next time, I will do my best to not get shot several times and blown out of a building. No, I'm looking for an apology. That's what what you should be doing. (laughs) You're looking to find you're looking to find an ice cube in hell to hear an apology from Omen. Just looking at you. What am I apologizing for? You're apologizing for ruining work that I've had set in motion for 10 years, and you're going to apologize for very rudely grabbing me by the neck. Sounds like Omen couldn't carry his weight. Tread carefully, Jareth. You should also should also be apologizing for the fact that I tried to stop you from interrogating Socket because I could have handled that and you didn't let me. It's your fault we're in this situation. Great. The person who has never fired a weapon or been on any real successful job is telling me how I do my job. I forgot, is this your team or did I bring you on? Know your place and fix Jareth and shut up. No. Well, this was a fun arrangement while it lasted. Good luck finding your parents. You can fix him up if you should choose. But I am done with you. Clearly you do not know how to work as a team. A team? You're the one who doesn't compromise. But it... You may be the one who leads the team, but a team is made of compromise, Omen. Listening what to others. What would you have me do? Apology. Admitting when you've done something wrong. By choking you, briefly. That's not a thing that normal people do. <laughs> we live in very different worlds, Reverie. Be better. Some would argue I'm the best. I'm not arguing that. I'm saying you need to be a better person. Compromise. Say you're sorry, and I'll fix you both up. I will think about it. (laughs) Is he always like this? Always. He's always like this. Yeah, yeah, you're never going to get... He's never going to apologize. Probably not, though. I'm going to work on him because I don't want him to die. And then you're going to sit down and you're going to let me work on you. I will think on it. There's no thinking. You're going to sit down and not leave. If it helps. Thank you for the stim. The next thing I inject you with is going to knock you on your ass. And then you're going to have to apologize. Then you will not touch me with a needle or a bullet. Kitten's got claws. I promise you in the state you're in, it will be easy. I like, I like, mm, she's, mm, she is, she is fucking. I'm, I, I'm going to say, she's not like, she's, she is <sighs> raising her voice and she's getting in closer, but she's not touching him or like making any aggressive moves. 
I'm like she's imagining her on the tiptoes. But she is certainly she getting is, up. Like she is playing with the fire, and I am not in a good headspace right now. So I think I I lean forward. Go you ahead, want, bitch. You want an apology? Fine. Next time that I choke you, if you keep this up, it will be to snap your neck. And then I just I just turn and I like walk away because I'm just like I'm done with this child. She has no idea what she's doing. Like I, just, I turn away too. Not an apology. That is not an apology. That's not an apology. I, I turn away. Not, I immediately I immediately walk towards Jareth like this fucking man child. Uh, uh, and like, as as you do that, it, the, the door bursts open off of its hinges, and oh. you see one of the bloody roses come back in. I heard, I heard screaming, Re Reverie, we use everything okay? I heard yelling. What the fuck did you do? And he points at you. He's got two crowbars in his hand and he's like brandishing them at you. Like, the fuck's going on in here? Oh, I, I, you got a problem? No, no, it's, it's okay. She put us in her place. All right. All right. Cool. He scratches himself with a crowbar. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, you smoke? Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. I, I'm missing a lot smoking? of blood. I heard it gets you really fucking high. Let's go smoke. I'm going to take him outside. Fuck yeah. And he goes He goes outside. <laughs> Boys are going out to smoke. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm coming with. I got to keep a, I got to keep an eye on my car. I got to air out this place. It's getting a little heavy for me. Oh, nobody's going to touch your car here. Will you shut the door you. That's your car. Here with these two. <laughs> Nobody's yeah, gonna touch your car here, but don't worry about it. <laughs> these are homies. They're cool. <laughs> Jared, don't leave me in here with these three. <laughs> don't do it. Don't leave You're me. You're cool in with here. Reverie. You're cool with us. Just, that was just Omen, <laughs> Reverie, and Jared. Your, your arms work like that? With all them, like, like, razor blades in them and shit? Oh, yeah. You know what's great? Look at this. And he goes, to, he scrapes his arm along the, the pavement outside the door, and you just see sparks flying. Shh. I mean, that's no. pretty badass, but that's got to be pretty painful, huh? Oh, fucking hurts like a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. What you got to do? Line him with salt. Oh, like yeah. a Caesar glass. Oh, that would hurt. That would hurt a lot. Probably. And it would make the sparks blue. No shit, really? Yeah. Fucking awesome. All right. Salt. Uh, just, uh, go get salt. Somebody get salt. <laughs> and they go, they're <laughs> off running to go find salt. <laughs> Are these boys the best boys? Yes or yes? You do have a nice little gang here. <laughs> Amazing. They're so cute. <laughs> when they're not being cute with you, they are ripping people to shreds, like pulling mm -hmm. people's fingernails out and, yeah, you know, decapitating, cute. mutilating. He's got, two, <laughs> he's got two brain cells and they're fighting for third place. Even, even <laughs> I kind of like them. You know, they're, they're, they're charming. They're, they're pretty Char cute. Let's so, um, fix these broken boys, please. Yeah, let's, let's deal with that. So, um, I need to do a little more research into the stabilization and quick fix thing. I think I may have gotten something wrong a little earlier. I'm not going to make you roll for all of these surgeries because nobody took any critical damages, meaning nobody needs to take a four hour surgery improvement to like fix a broken limb or a crushed windpipe or something like that. So um, I am going to say that the stabilization uh, will have you roll your paramedic skill to see how long it takes you. Okay. Oh, man, I hope you don't think you're leaving this room. Well. Right? Jareth was like, please don't leave me, and then just coughed up blood. Like, <laughs> fuck, I can't go. I probably, I, I mean, I probably stay inside and just like, I, I'm just uh, like in the corner, like thinking. Actually, you know what? No, I would, I would 100%, I would get in the trunk, and like while I'm just like waiting around, I immediately start cleaning my weapons. 25 for the first roll for Jareth. Okay. Yeah, we're going to just say 25 for all of them. You do a great job. You, there's no complications. You don't need to get any other uh, materials together. Now, the way that healing is going to work is that you heal once you're stabilized, which she just did for all of you. You heal your body amount, the, you heal the hit points in the amount of your body stat every day that you do not work 
uh, like do strenuous activity. So uh, just from Jareth, uh, who was, I think is still the most hurt person in the group. Uh, it, it would take, take you, days. it would take you five days to heal because you had a body stat of seven, I think. Mm -hmm. And it would take you and I have four and a half, five points. days. Yeah, it would take you five days to get to to get all the way back up to 50 or whatever it was at. Um, Pretty, yeah. So that means what you're able to do in this downtime period is going to be impacted by this. You don't want to get into any fights or you're going to fuck up the healing process. Uh, you're not going to heal for, for that day. Um... But uh, Jason, I need from... to make a point. Yeah. I need a point to be made. Um, you said the twenty-five was for both of them. Um, I would like to very, very clearly clarify that I will be a sweet, doting medical <laughs> angel to Jared. Okay, I clean him up. I. I dote on him, of course, you know. he needs Super he, uncomfortable the whole time. He, he baby, <laughs> you know, like just, you know, I take care of him perfectly. Um, you know, very gentle with everything. I, I would like to clarify that when it's Omen's turn, his bandages are pulled too tight. I push him around too much. He gets the rough treatment. Uh, what about what that a, guy. What, what about when it's Bishop. Bishop's turn? Yeah. <laughs> what about Bishop? Bishop, Bishop gets... Also, Forgot. baby treatment. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, he definitely gets the baby treatment. Fuck yeah. It. Bishop gets baby treatment. You know, sweet, sweet medical angel. I, mean, I think it starts with like, like my pistol in my hand, and I just like try anything, and it will not end well for you. <laughs> I'm just going to take care of you. Now, um... I've never fired a gun, I'd never hurt anyone. Um, right. <laughs> so with this healing, uh, where is there anything else that you want to do? It is now, it didn't take too long. It's late into the night. Oh, God. Edge runner what bars are I... still open. Okay. Uh, can I cr try and get something out of these uh, dusty, Ooh. dusty chips? Yeah. Uh... Yeah, so you would look at that and you would know this is a t well I'll have you roll a tech skill a basic tech skill basic tech? Uh, electronic security tech oh okay I need yeah okay okay um <clears throat> With that, you would know that you would need a specialist for this because even if you put together the physical, uh, the file together physically, uh, just the way that these modern data chips work, you're going to need someone to repair the data as well. And to be honest, this kind of repair job in general is beyond, is, is it's beyond your capability. You're not going to be able to do this on your own. Would I but, happen to know anybody? You might. You might think... Um, why don't you go ahead and roll streetwise? Oh, hell yeah. Great. Oh, God. You got this. I would say with that amount, you don't know directly. However... Um, from talking with Jareth, you know that he has run with some tight circles of hackers and netrunners, and maybe he would be a good person to check his streetwise as well. How about a Goblin King? Know anyone in your castle? I know a few ones that... I run with. Uh, you said streetwise. Yeah, it's gonna be a very low uh, DV. Okay, it's gotta be. It's gotta be. <laughs> do I no longer have the negative? You do have the negative. 
I still have oh, it. Okay. I think I need to do some research. I'm, I'm not 100 percent certain here. 13. Okay. Um, no, that's that was bishops. Okay, sorry. Yeah. I'll roll it with the negative. I was just making sure because you said she stabilized this. Mm -hmm. I need. I, I think that the stabilization doesn't immediately remove that. Cool. It's a nine. Ooh. Hmm. You. You don't know about somebody that can necessarily. Uh, you're not sure about the the fixing of it physically, but you know somebody that could take care of the data once it was put back together. And maybe they would know where to take this. You remember uh, the old Reclaimer group that you used to run with, and you still do. You still, it's not like you've like abandoned them or anything, but you're working your jobs, you're working with with Netrunner crews and uh, you don't always spend as much time as you normally do with the reclaimers in the city itself. Just send back the money I can, but beyond that, I don't really get to talk to them that much. Mm -hmm. I got, yeah, Bishop, I got some family, but we still need to get this thing fixed. But after that, I should be able to be able to pull the data from it. It's a better lead than we had. This sh should be done quietly gentlemen I don't Go even think we hand this to Rogue there is more at play here it'll get done as quietly as it can get done we just can't walk in empty sorry am I there I don't know if you guys are doing this in secret I thought we were just still at the yeah, I think everybody's oh, like talking you're around. all hanging around yeah. her office right now we yeah. can't go back to her empty handed can we we can't just say, hey, we we, we axed that guy, but we got to go fix the data files, and she wanted this done tonight. We, she's going to find out that he's dead. But then it again, she, you know what she, and then you know what she's going to think if we don't show up and she finds out that he's dead? She's going to think we ran off with the information. That's what she's going to think. But consider that she probably has all the resources she needs to fix it, and we don't necessarily need to worry. Yeah. Uh, do not think giving her the data is the correct way. Exactly. Really the breaking it wasn't the correct way either. I actually right. agree with him. It's probably not the best idea. Weren't you two just like screaming at each other like 20 minutes ago? Uh, what? what we here? can have a disagreements and then also agree on other things. He's right. We shouldn't hand it over. So your voice and your opinion means you're part of the crew now? Are you, are, you, are, you, are you shacking up with us? You sound like you weren't... You're kind of on the fence back there about how we deal with things. Well, I think he needs an attitude adjustment, but other than that... How did you I feel mean, How did you feel when Jackal ripped through that man on the street? Didn't, didn't just try to swerve out of the way. There's just a pedestrian... I mean, who knows how innocent they were in the middle of the combat zone. However... You don't know that. She doesn't like it. I mean, <laughs> she's not happy about it. But uh, also, she hangs around people who make her body art. Yeah, that's true. Of their friends. <laughs> See, what we didn't realize when we hit that pedestrian, we did hear the voice that went, Brian, look out! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh. That's um. funny. Okay. But he should have an attitude adjustment in about oh, an hour when the drugs take effect. So what are we going to tell Rogue? Because we already got some strange corpos that know our faces. What, we're going to cross Rogue too? There is no crossing. We were paid to get data and to flatline an individual. We flatlined the individual, but were unable to get the data due to an explosion. A very large, visible explosion. Glorious explosion. It's quite big. Jobs <laughs> do not always go off as planned. It yeah, will, that's true. It will hurt our rep a bit, but we did have some success flatlining the individual, so. It was quite clean. It's the biggest flatline I've ever been a part of. So and that's the, something. And then we just come back later with the with the data. Oh look what we found. No. I mean, maybe. 
No. Maybe if we pull ourselves up by our bootstraps and fix this ship on our own accord, you know, maybe that will, uh, you know, give us even more rep because we have the means to fix something like this. We do it quietly. No one that knows what it is, where we got it. It can only be with highly trusted and discreet individuals. And we find out first what is on the drives. And then we decide the next course of action. There is data on there, something bigger than what the job was. Clearly. I've dealt with corpos before. Yeah, but those guys, that guy, those guys defending Fuse, those were chumps. I'm talking about the individuals that chased us. Yeah, but why, why have yourself surrounded by chumps, but have those guys like outside? That doesn't make any sense. Those guys were inside. I do not think that those individuals were actually defending Fuse. I think that they were tasked to take us out. Hmm. Take the data. You think Rogue sent us? Yes. Him? That is also why I do not believe we should take it to Rogue. Hmm. Hmm. This is a dirty business. Well, now, I don't trust anyone, but I'm down with what the crew wants to do. Now, you would know... Um, sorry, go ahead. I have a question. Um, we keep bringing up Corpos, you know, and how we think this was a you know, Corpo that... Uh, you know... I don't know. Could I call in a favor? Sure. From my uncle. From from Uncle Archer? Sure. Yeah, maybe oh, he could. If, look, if I tell him that I have, look, he knows that we've been, like that I've been looking for this and he cares as much about this thing as I do. If he knows that I have something that would uncover his his own family, you know, his own mm -hmm. sister's death. You could you could definitely do that. If you think that you've got enough information to where he's going to actually act and he's not going to sideline you. No, I, I think she believes that if she calls him is like, hey, I have a chip that I know contains information about this, but it's shattered. Do you have someone I can who can reassemble it? He would do it. He would do it in a heartbeat for me. I know he would. Yeah. You know what? Maybe this is her trust. This is her being naive, you know? But she's going to bring it up. Uh, she's just going to kind of... Maybe. I, um... I have a suggestion. Um, and you're probably all not going to like it. Or maybe you will. Um, I, I don't know. Um... I think I can get us someone pretty quick who can fix it. Kind of somebody. Well, um, um, uh, I guess you weren't totally wrong about being surprised at me living here. Um, my uncle is, uh, pretty well connected. And, uh, he could probably, if he knew what was on this, which, what I think is on this, that would help us, uh, he, he would definitely be interested in fixing it for me. And your uncle's not afraid of Corpo Hitman? Um, uh, well, he... Kinda, or <laughs> like he's not scared of corpos or anything because he is fun. <laughs> well, he um, kind of is one. Oh, okay, okay. And ain't no Jared way. Just walks out. <laughs> ain't no way in you hell. You should be walking. I am. He throws working. his bedpan. <laughs> Oh, Jared, oh. there was piss in there. Stop it! Low piss. Low piss. <laughs> Little shit. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you this because I'm trusting you, which I know you're gonna call naive and stupid, but. Jackal, what if, what if, what if she's got a tail right now? Me? She. Nah, she just got wings. 
She ain't. Oh, no. Bishop. God it's... damn, Bishop. Never mind. I should That's shoot better. you on principle, Bishop. <laughs> but you won't because I still think I'm useful. Yes, you need to fix my armor. <laughs> I mean, if she. Look. Uh, Miss Reverie, uh, I might not trust you at all, and I think you're kind of, uh, yellow-bellied and weak at heart, but she doesn't have a tail. Look at this girl. She, she, she couldn't fight her way out of a wet paper bag, so if she's got a tail, they'd always already be on us. I'll be honest with you. Your so, uncle is a corpo hitman. Oh, no, he's not a I don't think he's a hitman. God, what I hope company he's... does he work for, and what is his position? That seems a little too much to give you. You already don't like me. <laughs> she got you there. She's got I a am... point. But I honestly, no understand. one really likes him. We just kind of deal with him. How about a compromise? She kind of gives you a smile, like a look. We're back at the same point we were before. <laughs> Man, child. <laughs> what is your negotiation? to compromise but fine Go i on. give you this information and you apologize and and you learn to compromise with your group more you know take their suggestions to heart that seems pretty fair doesn't it Sure. An apology. This, this is gonna be good. Watch, watch, sure. Watch, watch this, boys. That's gonna be an amicable arrangement. Mm-hmm. You go first. Oh no, I'm not that stupid. You first. Would you like to shake on it? Would that make you feel better? No, because if you lie to me, I'll just shoot you. And go on. He, like, looks at the group. He debates on how much he wants this information, like, actually. <laughs> Is it, like, if it's even worth it. Reverie. I apologize. Oh. The weakness in my ears. Um. <clears throat> Apology accepted. Thank you. Bishop, you're recording this, right? Always. <laughs> now, <laughs> your end of the agreement. Ah, uh, there was still another part of your end, I believe. That is a ongoing process. I get to call you on it when you don't. If that would make you feel better, sure. Well, no, it's not making me feel better. It's part of the agreement you already agreed. Yeah, she's a corpo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God damn! If he didn't have that, ha if he doesn't have that mask on, he'd be bubbling red right now. Anyway, the information you wanted, I do keep up my end of my uh the deals I make. Um, he works for Petrochem, right? That's correct. And what does he do? I can't. I don't think you actually ever told me, or maybe you did, and I don't remember. Oh yeah, yeah. He uh, he works like mid-level, like corporate security, like data security, as far as you understand. Yeah, was, that which is why she was thinking he might know someone if he does data security. He would be able, he would know someone who could fix a data chip. He uh, works works in data security. By the way, just if it wasn't clear, Adam, uh, Petrochem is the company that your uh, mm -hmm. your parents worked for as well. I wasn't sure if mm -hmm. I told you. Well, our okay. parents worked for the same company. Oh, mm. you knew each other as children. Are you guys brother and sister? Oh, uh, you guys went. No, they went to the uh, work picnics together. Ooh! Oh my God, Ugo! <laughs> oh my God! I wanna. I just wanna see. Uh, anyway, is there a yeah, Petrochem? Hold on. No, I don't see. Hmm. 
I would say, uh, if if I may, Reverie. Uh, if, well, actually, yeah. ev everybody. I don't know. Like, uh, I'm trying to hold in my emotions, but uh, when you say that, um, okay. there might be like a twitch in my in my like my head like but I, I don't know if everybody would perceive it so i don't know if there's like a role or something that you would want to have but i would we say we could Jared do human perception it. human perception versus um persuasion i guess could be used as deception also uh there's a there's deduction under intelligence if you're finding out a lie mm. oh okay yeah so we'll do we'll do deduction versus your persuasion so it's under intelligence yeah, uh, under education skills is not high, and uh, I would assume that drugs were also. I'm at a minus two again. Oh jeez. If it's if they only last for an hour, so. Yeah, sure. It's um, you know, it's story. So. I have an 18. Ooh, yep. my int is my highest score. <laughs> Finally, I'm getting to use it. So, uh, still be dominant. Bishop, Bishop Reverie. Jared didn't see it. Okay. Um, yeah, you would see. Jacqueline doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> once, <laughs> once, like, okay. yeah he you, fuck. He's a twitching motherfucker. Once, you once she yeah. mentions, once she mentions Petro Kim, there's just this like twitch, like he like kind of like snaps to her quickly before he like just kind of catches himself and like tries to like play it off. Hmm. Interesting. What? The point that they made. Petro Kim. Corpos, they cannot be trusted. Your I'm uncle not, cannot be trusted. I'm not disagreeing. I, look. I, can I be real for a second? Please. I... I don't trust Petrochem at all. I... The information that I was looking for. Uh, I don't care if you know. You know what? If you want to kill me for it, whatever. I... I don't think you are. I don't think any of you are. I... Petrochem... are horrible. My parents used to work for them. That's the information I was looking for on that... damn chip. I think they killed them. I... The way that they were found, as far as I'm concerned, Petrochem killed my parents. Covered it up. That's what I think. That's what I've been searching for, for evidence. For the ten past fucking years of my life, I've been looking for that. So no, I don't trust Petrochem. But, you know, if I have to use them and use my connections to get back at them, I'd be stupid not to. Kind of like just standing there, full of emotion, kind of breathing heavy, like. <laughs> yeah, girl, get angry. That's what we like to see. Uh, Bishop's gonna reach up, put his hand on your shoulder. Simmer down, songbird. I, I fucking it. love Bishop. I love Bishop so much. Love him. He's just like... He just like looks at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's got like that... Like, you're like, is this guy charismatic or is he, is he, just, he just always is high? Is he just like, talking? Yeah. Is he just he's high always talking. Are we talking or are we racing, energy? <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think uh, Omen would just... Uh, after like hearing that or whatever and angry and then like you saying that last little bit... I think he just like glances at the team. Perhaps you are not as naive as I thought. So you agree? We all agree? We should use I, this connection. I do not agree with that. But uh, I agree that we find someone we can trust discreetly to look into the data and give it to us we find the answers you are seeking we find the answers that we are seeking and then we come up with a plan and and if it helps you find answers i tell you what i'll offer my services for free for free how nice look you're compromising how nice i fucking hate corpos 
Especially Petrochem. Especially Petrochem. I mean, they do make... They make Chew 2, which is pretty good. Can't really hate someone that makes Chew 2. Right. <sighs> yeah, I'm still gonna call him. Yeah, I mean, better your connections than ours, really. That is a mistake. It's not that much option? of a mistake. We don't sketch people. Look, your idea. uncle, corporal son of a bitch, our contact, but you know him, so that could be faster. Look, all I want is a fucking payday. That's what I want. Amen. So, like, whatever gets us our money faster, Omen, you're part of the crew. I don't want to say I like you, but I don't give a shit about your petrochem rivalry, reverie. I also don't give a shit about your family. So, whatever gets me my payday, that's what I want. I'm just being honest here. We have yeah. to give the news to Rogue tonight. Oh, yes. God well, damn it. And I would say, you don't need to give it tonight, but you know, within a couple days, within a week, if you're not reaching out to your fixer, and they don't think you're dead, there's a variety of problems that could come from that. Depending on the fixer yeah. that you pissed off, you know, they might write you off. It could be as simple as you're written off, and you're blackballed from working with them ever again uh which could, with, from rogue that could be a bad with blackballing rogue? uh yeah. or it yeah. could be that they want to punish you or they want to hunt you down or they you know you, yeah. you, you don't know what you're dealing with but you're gonna want to check in i am saying point. that you do not trust petrochem your uncle works for them and you want to give him you really think that your family bonds are stronger? He raised me, of course. He would do anything for me, and I would do anything for him. Gareth smiles at Jackal like... <clears throat> do none of you have a family? No, we're just, we're just smart enough to know that if a corpo sees a big paycheck come in, they're going to take the paycheck before they take the He's not hurting for money. He doesn't need it. But what if, what if your uncle killed your parents to get like you know, some control of you or something? I don't know. Yeah. Like you give him his, you give him this info about like background on your parents, and he finds out that you have it. What's stopping him from just ultimately erasing it? Yeah, and erasing all of us. Exactly my thought as well. Uh, you might trust your uncle, but. He's still a corporal son of a bitch. And he thinks we're just a bunch of edge runner gonks. So, maybe he does keep you alive, but what's to say he's not going to get rid of the rest of us? He doesn't need to know there's anyone else. He's going to think you found this computer chip all by yourself. And the building blown to bits. I know you think I'm stupid, but I'm not. I never said stupid. <laughs> I just called you yellow bellied and couldn't fight your way out of a wet paper bag. I never said stupid. Again, I don't need to fight to get what I need. I you think do. I've made that. This clear. is not city, girl. You do need to fight at some point. Well, my fight is different than yours. Look, as long as you keep us alive, that's what I care about. And I've done that quite well, I'm, actually. Yeah, yeah, Thank you. you have. Right. I think it is my turn now, right? Yes. All right, so let's make a decision. We go into her uncle, or are we going to use our street credits to uh, find somebody out there to do it? Mm -hmm. One's faster. Uh, but... Which, uh, Jareth, you did you did mention that you, you thought you had, like, a lead on somebody, uh, right? Yeah. Yeah. I've From past. I vote mm. Jareth's contact. If they can be discreet and only give us the information, fix it and not look at it. What if... Look, I'll be honest with you. I fucked over people before. I'm not gonna lie. Not proud of it. What if you... 
kind of gave your your good old uncle there like threw him out of fishing line you know and like trolled him a little bit like say hey i might have found like this ship with like data without my parents on it um but i don't know what to do with it see how eager he is to like jump at that like if he's like oh i would love to help you with that like if it seems fishy then maybe you know it might not be you no know, see how he reacts if he makes it all nonchalant like and like brushes it off and says it's nothing you know your uncle better than we do but on the street always trust your gut you know i can call him now if you'd like uh, you can even listen in on the conversation as long as you all shut up Bitch, it is you like you four in the morning <laughs> <He'll pick up. laughs> she, she doesn't give a fuck she'll call him in the middle of the night bishop you track that call can you can you can you can you like tap into it yeah if you give me like two minutes to set up the phone can right. you do that you might have i don't know can you do that <laughs> actually no <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's just gonna pull her agent that. on yeah, speakerphone. I, I just like, can't she just tell us where he lives? Well, that is true. Uh, I don't think I want to do that either. Right. Well, All right. So why don't you put him on speakerphone? Just listen let's, to the call. Let's see what he I says. Everyone, shut this. your gobs, and we'll uh, we'll see what he says. Thank you. Uh, she's gonna call him <laughs> and just kind of. Boop. Like, you know that huddle you do when you're all listening to someone on a speaker <laughs> That's what I'm picturing. What? Nobody okay, ever does that, ever. Quick. What are you talking about? This man's better pick up. This is serious. Hello, you have reached Russell. <laughs> uh, it actually does go to a voicemail. Oh, no! It's very late at night right now. <laughs> um, can I call him again? Is that way your you way can call him again? You can okay, call, him call him again. Oh. The fucking phone. Re Reverie? Uh, no, he wouldn't call you that. Uh, Daciana. Oh no! They just heard my real name. <laughs> We're not thinking about that. <laughs> already, already in here. Jareth is sick. Like, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hand Jareth an agent so we can start typing. It's, it's, uh, it's uh, late. Oh, yeah. already... Daciana, what are you doing? What is everything okay? Are you all right? Uh, it, her getting over the fact that they just heard her first name and she's like, "Fuck, that's the whole point." Oh. <laughs> um, uh, I couldn't wait until the morning. Um, I'm sorry. I know you have to be up soon. Uh, I just think of it as an early morning. <laughs> you know, I always love hearing from you. I love getting your phone calls. Maybe I love it a little less at this time of night. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, but it's really important. Um, I, um, found... I think I maybe found some information about my parents and what Infor happened. What? You found information? When? Between between dinner? When we just had dinner and, and, and now? Uh, yeah. Right. I, uh, I, um... Uh, what, what did you what find? I was doing well, I don't know what I found. Uh, if I had a chip, uh, what would I do with it? I don't know what to do with data chips. Well, um, if there's information on it, uh, well, you can decrypt it. I'm sure that that information is probably encrypted. Um, you're sure this is data relevant to your parents? I can... I can put some experts on it. She kind of like she gives a look to the boys around the room, like a is this is this sus? <laughs> um, are you sure you're okay? What? Why are you calling me so late at night? I well, I just I did you run with I a crew think... again? Did you? You're not edge running again, are you? I'm not. Are you hurt? I, 
Do I need to? Uh, no. I swear, I'm going to install a bio monitor that's going to give me your biomedical readouts. And so that way I can find out exactly what's going on. I'm perfectly safe. I'm Jared not injured. Thank you for the raid. Thank oh, you for the thank raid. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> I'm not injured at all. I am perfectly safe. I got this through perfectly normal means. I set up a meeting. You got this information through perfectly normal means information about the assassination of your parents this is what i've been working for for so long this is why i've been out here to make connections with people who actually know this kind of stuff okay all right that's why well, it's you've taken done... me so long as much as i hate to say it you have impressed me with your abilities and your capabilities when it comes to digging into this. Uh, I don't like that you put yourself in danger, but if you found information that could break this open, then yeah, you should bring it to me. But I think you need to take some time off. You, you are, you're stressing me out and I'm worried about you. We promised six months earlier tonight. That's for you to join trauma team. I'm saying take a break. Look, I have got um, I've got tickets to this rocker boy festival, uh, Sonic Revolution. Uh, it's got. I know you like some of these artists. Uh, let me see any fumbles. Uh, uh, well, you, you hear him fumbling, I guess. Or actually, you know what? It's a it's a vid call, probably. So yeah, you see him like fumbling. Directly oh wait, no, no, not... not a vid call. You're you're keeping it. Um, you're doing yeah, audio only okay. because you're trying Just to keep them it. hidden. Yeah. yeah, I don't want him to see these. Man yeah. with a mask standing right over her shoulder. <laughs> like, it's just like. Yeah, yeah, yeah who's, right, right. Who's that she right behind fine. you? <laughs> she is yeah, not she's fine. Your, your daughter is safe. <laughs> who's that behind you? Uh, my boyfriend? Mm. Uh, you have a boyfriend? <laughs> you know, um, the, the rocker boy, uh, Blaze? Um, uh -huh. you know her? You would have definitely heard of her. Uh, uh yeah. And then there's Electra and, and Riot mm -hmm. and Nova. These are all big ticket names. Looks Is Corpo you've... Corpse on that bill? Corpo Corpse? Uh, way at the bottom on one of the shit Hell yeah. stages. Hell yeah. Uh, you know, like where well, you can, like, you're drowned you out by it. the main stage volume. Uh, that's you Corpo Corpse is, uh, is playing uh, a show fronted by uh, Sarcophagus. Um, As it should be. <laughs> And he says to you, uh, look, you've needed something nice. The company was able to get me tickets, and I was able to pay the difference to bump it up to VIP and backstage access. So, you know, if you want to... Well, how many did you get? Well, I've got two tickets. I figured you could take a friend if you don't want to take your old uncle. That's so cute. You don't want to take your old... Oh, no, of course I would want to go with you. I... Her, like, embarrassed, like, also, I'm saying this in front of these murderers. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> This is this is fucking tea right now. This is great. Yeah, I am yeah. finding out so much. I think all of us are like looking at each other like this is fucking gold. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're, we're, we're just notes. we're just shooting like side eyes at each other. Like, uh, what the fuck is going? Like, this is Night City, right? Like, none of us have ever experienced this amount of love before. Uh, we can we can go. Uh, when do you want me to get these to you? And is this just gonna be us two? Yeah, just us. Uh, look, you can drop this off with me tonight or t uh, tomorrow. And uh, if you want, we'll go off. The festival starts this weekend. We'll spend the week there. Week? It's kind of bougie. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's a it, big festival, lots of names. Uh, it, it's, it's right in the middle of the executive zone, which 
you know, very nice now, the new executive zone. Could I bring some friends? Uh, no, I, I just have the two tickets. She makes disgruntled noises like, hmm, maybe this could be to our advantage. We're going to be in the executive area where there are lots of executives. But the, so the executive zone, I just want to point out to you, is like the most heavily guarded. It is the tiniest little zone. It is essentially end game of Night City in, in Cyberpunk, right? It is... Yeah. Uh, it's not just corpos that are there. This is not like where any old corpo goes. This is your luxury yeah. zone, right? This is very few people live you, in this area. You, you ain't getting us in. Yeah. <laughs> There's uh, one. I could maybe get one of you in. And the rest go. of you. Well. <laughs> what? Could you get one more ticket, please? I'll, uh, I'll look into uh, it. It's very, I, this is very expensive already. I know, but I have a feeling you'd want to meet this person. Uh, are you seeing somebody? Oh, God. Uh, she looks at the... <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you gave, like, me the opportunity. Like, yeah. <laughs> gave me the opportunity. Jackal's not oh, reacting. God. He's just he's just listening. He's not he's, like he's just like he 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 I wouldn't even assume am. you would. Okay. And What's I would love for you to meet them. What's his name or 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 her name or their name? I I would much rather you meet them in person. Keep it a surprise. Just the name. That Come way. on, just the name. Uh, He's doing this. <laughs> Someone give me a real name. I, I can't fucking. Uh, this, this is the problem with <laughs> wearing a mask. Is I can't no, it... word word something. So. Uh, <laughs> Shit. Is there, so is, there like a, is there like is there like a brief mute or, or something? Like is there like like mute? You it could real quick? mute. Yeah. Mute. I mute. <laughs> I just say, make a name up. <laughs> it's not that hard to make up a name, all right? Yeah, okay, you, okay. Anybody she can make unmutes. Up a name. She unmutes. She was thinking someone would give her a name. Uh, um, God, his so name is his name is James. <laughs> She's trying to think of like a corporate name, like James. That's for James. James. Uh, and uh, and his last name. Mm. Bishop points to himself. James Bishop. James Bishop. Wait one moment. Uh, Richard, He's look up a up. James Bishop. He's Give me as much information as you can on him, please. Jareth just throws his hands up and he's like, I <laughs> fucking <laughs> told y'all. I just, she, I just start shoving Jareth like, quick, make something up, make something up before they find it. Him, she mutes oh. immediately, looks at Jareth, make up a fucking profile now. <laughs> Bro, just take the first picture you Cat find fish. and make a profile. Catfish. Catfish. <laughs> yeah, he takes, a, <laughs> he takes a picture of a, of a poster of an anatomy chart nearby. No, All right. Like, oh. <laughs> I am going to... If you want to try and beat this search, you don't know how, how immediate this is happening. You can go you ahead make and... that fast? You oh. can go ahead and roll... You can do it. You're the fucking Goblin King, dude. Yeah, you're the because, because you're a net runner, you can do this. You can jack in to the public city data network. Okay. And go ahead and make a public profile for, uh, uh, what did you call him? Something Bishop? James Bishop. James Bishop. Oh, we're, 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 we're stupid. Wait, cause Omen doesn't have a face. So I gotta use one of you guys with a face. Uh. I'm using Jackal. What? <laughs> you don't know this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just love because Jackal's can, the oldest out of all of us. Yep. He is like, <laughs> you can try but, and computer generate a face. 
However, it will up the difficulty value of you getting this oh, done right. potentially. Just, just use Jackal. Let's no, see where this I, goes. Just use Jackal. Just I'll, use yeah. Jackal. I, I mean, Bishop's closer to her age, right? So that makes more sense. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's going to use Bishop. <laughs> ah, um, Jackal would look Okay, what am I rolling? Uh, Jackal, Jackal would have been so good. Just this old grungy guy. <laughs> yeah, she's into the grungy Hey, I, I heard you were doing a rocker concert, and like, I'm here, man. <laughs> it's just like. You know what? Oh, I'll my roll. God. Bish we Bishop, in a combat zone. Bishop evens <laughs> jackal odds. I volunteer because I want to see where this goes. If unless, unless Jimmy Twin wants to uh, they, volunteer, seems very on the nose for Jimmy to be James. But hey, you know what? What was it? Ah, uh, uh, who is odds? Who is evens? Ah, uh, you were evens. Oh hell yeah! It's I got a two, yeah. so it's you. Fuck yeah! All right, let's see it. All right. Uh, oh what am God. I rolling? Interface. Interface. Oh my uh, my my cyber. Shit. Yep. Okay. Oh, I still got a negative two. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I feel so bad for her got uncle me luck. right now. Burn it. He was. I he used was it all in that shot. <laughs> he, he was expecting Reverie to grow up to be prim and proper. She grew up to be Topanga. Clearly. It's an eight. Yeah. Oh, that's a great roll. Oh. I still got my negative two, guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you didn't have a negative two. I would say. But also, that... there's going to be a bunch of James Bishops. So it's like, you know, there's at least three. That's true. Probably. It's a common Ooh. name. There it's might common. be some more Probably James. a few. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, tell tell me tell me about this James. And he asked, and I want you to just go ahead and give me three details that you would tell about him. And. Oh and. Um, Got you. And I would say, Tech with that role, uh, Jareth. <laughs> You, you think you got it in under the wire? You're thinking I, I, I was fast enough, right? You don't know though. I mean, you can't know. There's no way to know yeah. whether you succeeded or failed. But I will say that negative two did this was not good for you. Nobody's gonna know. <laughs> he's uh, uncle is asking me what he's like. Yeah. Well, he's um, very tall, and. I'm just going to describe him. Because <laughs> I assume he's the most, he's the most suited Corpo, literally to yeah. be, he's the most Corpo looking out of you all. Um, That's oddly correct. With the mask? Uh, and he <laughs> is very stoic. He doesn't say much. Um, He can be a bit frustrating at times, but it's because he's passionate. Um, and, uh, he's, um, quite skilled with guns. He, he works on oh, them. Edge runner? He's an edge runner? No, he, he builds guns. He, he designs them. He's an engineer. Mal oh. uh, Jareth Mouth, uh, Miltech. 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 Mil Miltech. Yes. Engineer at Miltech. Uh huh. <laughs> well, uh -huh. that's a that's a catch. That's a, oh, that's somebody a catch, that's right. going somewhere. Wow. Oh, he's he's ambitious. Okay. Catch him twice. I just love. Wrap it up. I'd love for you to meet him. <laughs> dig, dig in a hole. Dig in a hole. <laughs> dig in a very big hole. <laughs> All right, let's set the date. And you set details to to uh, to meet up and uh, and put this together. And he's going to try and get you an extra ticket, but he is not guaranteeing you an extra ticket. Okay. So and we uh, all right, drop off well, the chip tomorrow. I yeah, I um, we're going to figure this out. It's good that you called me. Um. Okay. Um. And um, you're sure you're safe, right? I am. Uh, you have this data chip on you right now? Nobody else is looking for this? I don't know if anyone else is looking for it, but I have it on me. Okay. And I'll get it to you as soon as I can. Uh, it, it, you know I love you, right? I don't say that enough. Pauses for a moment. Of course. Of course I know that. You know I love you too, right? 
Yeah. I just don't want to see anything bad happen to you. No, it, it won't. And besides, you wouldn't let anything bad happen to me. No. No. No, I won't. I'll protect you. Well, uh, good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Um, I'm going to decide when that meeting was when you said I'm actually going to retcon it a little bit. I don't know if it's going to be tomorrow. I need to do a little bit of planning uh, now. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh, what? Maybe, they maybe, said a time. Maybe, maybe we'll add some days in between uh, your, your, your rendezvous. Um, yeah, we set a time. Because our boys got to heal. Yeah, yeah, you've got you yeah. you most of you have to heal, right? Yeah. Um, most death. The the longest being five days for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got yeah. I'm, I'm I got heal. Omen's not far off from you. I'm and... fucked up. Yeah, Omen, you're pretty bad too. You need mm. what Bishop's another thirty two points with a body of five. So that means it's going to take you a full week. It's going to take you a full seven days to heal. Jeez, yeah. Louise. Yeah, I got fucked up. So no. we're sitting. Hey. Yeah, we're sitting for a week. So we're going to wrap this up pretty soon right now, but I want to do some uh, a little bit of, uh, of in-game maintenance real quick here. Um, okay. Can I just add one thing before, yeah. before? I apologize. I just wanted this was I think this is important for the character because I think uh, everybody would see this right so because i was shot so many times like on the body that i have to take off like the suit right um mm -hmm. so when when i get into the chair or whatever for you to look over me I, I take off the suit uh and what you see is the front like portion of his like chest like all the way up because he's still wearing his pants is just horribly burned uh like just like horribly dis dis like figured and mangled and, and gory and you also see like other bullet like wounds and slashes and stabs and things on top of it uh and then on the back like reaching to the side and like you saw it earlier when you looked at his neck but like the back side of him is like outside of the occasional scar or stab wound or like you know a entry or exit wound like there is no like it's still fine uh essentially um and same thing same thing with his his hands are like the like worst like moving up to his arms um but he doesn't take the mask off he leaves he leaves the mask on and uh i just think it's important for for role play and rp that you know i think everybody no, would see that because that. We need i got to. i got fucked up uh but yes he does have like a six pack and he's oh, totally, hell yeah, totally baby. Jacked, oh, but, yeah. you know damn son <laughs> who the hell did you on. piss off <laughs> a lot of people apparently uh, oh, and one last thing. Uh, when you start working on him and you offer him painkillers, again, he says, no, I am good. I don't mind the pain. So edgy. <laughs> Which is good because she was oh, making it more painful. Anyway. Yeah, I thought you were getting yeah. Yeah, painful treatments. Oh, yeah, I am, but he, he would specifically be like, he does, you know, yeah. So anyway, that's it. Sorry, continue. I just felt like it was important. No, that, to get no, that, that was so her. important. We needed that. That was so important. <laughs> so, um... I want to talk a little bit about improvement points, uh, about the downtime hustle. So we're going to need, I mean, you don't have to full, you don't have to heal all the way back up to full health, but you're going to need to heal some. I'm assuming you're going to want to at least have downtime enough to get most of you out of the seriously wounded category or up to mostly full health. Um, what I want to know is, is there anybody who has less than their body's worth of hit points missing. No. No. No? Everybody's no. taken more damage than their body? Bare barely. I just made it by two hit points. Jack Jackal, you didn't take any damage, right? I <laughs> Zero. Yeah. You just <laughs> completely unscathed. <laughs> okay. So, um, you are the only person that is not hurt, too hurt to do a downtime job. Um, I'm adding a little bit of a homebrew flavor to it. I can explain it later if you'd like. Ooh, but yeah. while one of you gets to, Jackal, you get to do a hustle. So hustles are on page 381. Uh, the nomad hustle, you're going to roll a d6 for me. And we're going to see what your... Uh, what's up? 
what job you're getting during this downtime period. Okay, a D6. Two. Okay. So this week, at some point, you're going to have a job protecting a shipment. Uh, it's going to pay 100 euro bucks. It's not okay. a lot. This is, like, this is... Uh, uh, small time these are very small time jobs or even legit jobs which just don't pay as well this is why you're an edge runner because this is what normal work looks like for you uh and Gross. that is the amount of uh money you're able to scrounge together so next week if you want to tell me we're gonna probably play through a little bit of this downtime next week so if you want to come up with concoct something for what that job was like what you did on okay. that job the job was successful it can be as successful or unsuccessful as you want it to be, so long as you were successful enough to achieve your 100 eddies. Got it. Okay. Um, and I wanted to bring this up too. Um, you all, uh, there is housing and there's lifestyle. I told all of you that you're all on the hook for a thousand uh, eddies for the month for, uh, for your house. So, you know, keep that in the back of your head. Uh, at some point, I'm going to say, hey, it's nearing the end of the month. If this is a longer campaign, I'd give you a more concrete tracking. But I'm going to tell you guys at some point during this campaign, towards the end, in you know, next session maybe, or afterwards, you might need to pay rent. Um, what I wanted to ask about was, does anybody think that they've been living anything for lifestyle? Uh, are you eating better? Are you living better than the general 100 euro bucks a week lifestyle? Is anybody living a little bit of a higher life. So let me read these off to you. Uh, you could have a kibble lifestyle. These are all categorized by the type of food you eat, but there's more to it than that. Than that. So that's 100 eddies a week. You eat horrible food that you might not buy it for a dog you liked, but once a month you can see a movie or a brain dance. Uh, at th I will give you the option to do either of the first two. Uh, either that or generic prepack, which is 300 eddies a month. You eat food which tastes much better than kibble by comparison. Each weekend you can afford to go out, to go to a good bar, uh, to uh, and party, or have a sit-down meal at a good restaurant. So that's 300 eddies. Now the reason this is important is because if we do any role-playing through downtime, and like when we were in the bar before and I asked about like, oh, who's, who's buying drinks, right? Uh, Something that I learned recently is that Cyberpunk does not nickel and dime you with this. It, 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 it is your lifestyle that is going to dictate that. So as long as what you are doing falls within that lifestyle, you are essentially prepaying for your lifestyle at the end, at the beginning of the month. So we started gotcha. this session. You've already paid for your rent and your lifestyle. Uh, as long, So let's say you're in a kibble lifestyle. As long as you're not eating anything better than kibble, you don't have to pay for it out of pocket. You're never going to have to take care of You're never going to think about that. Uh, and as long as you're not going to see more than one brain dance a month or a movie, you th that kind of expense, once a month, that's all covered in your 100 eddies. Uh, conversely, like, yeah, you're going out to eat on the weekend. You can eat better food. You know, you, you want to pay for drinks on the generic prepack, the 300 eddy level. I'm not going to charge you anytime you go out to drink. Now, if you start ordering some expensive shit, and I'm like, well, you're on the generic prepack. Well, now you're going to have to pay that out of pocket. Anything that's not a part of your lifestyle, you pay out of pocket. So I just want to give you, since we're going to maybe maybe in the next session go through some of that, I'm going to give you the opportunity now to decide whether you're living that 100 eddy kibble lifestyle or that 300 eddy generic prepack. I'm going to say, uh, because neither none of you are fixers or, uh, or corpos or execs, that the other two are not uh, available for you yet. You're not making that kind of money. Okay. Cool. Oh. Okay. Uh, and finally, um, we are going to give out improvement points. So improvement points are Ooh. how you level up in this game. Uh, generally, from my research and from reading the book, it looks like you generally tend to get uh, up to like a maximum of 80 improvement points a session. Um, it looks like uh, there are multiple ways of doing it. I'm going to award them to the groups that everybody gets the same amount of points based off generally how good you've been doing. But because we're playing in this uh, mini series and we're kind of like 
learning some more of the depths of these mechanics, I'm going to give you a flat 100 for every session as you go forward. So you have 300 points that you could spend now. I kind of just want to see where this goes. That's why I want to give you guys extra points. 300 points is where you can upgrade your rank, your roll ability. So Chris could get his next car upgrade with 300 points. That's why I wanted to give you 100 per session. So if you wanted to try out your roll upgrade, um, now your payout charts, you're going to want to, um, for your improvement point charts, where is it? Page 441. And I actually posted it in our Discord channel as well. Um, you can see how much everything costs if you want to buy skills. So you can use these points to either buy your skill upgrades. Uh, so for example... What page was it? 441. Uh, 441 in my book is lore. Yep, it's looking like that's the case here too. Maybe I copied down the wrong page. Was it 141? No, that's skills. Uh, hold on, we'll figure this out. Isn't that what we're looking for, though, is skills? Uh, I thought so. Uh, okay, it's page four, uh, 411. My bad. So you can see there, to upgrade from a level 4 uh -huh. to a level 5 skill costs 100 points. To go from level 5 to level 6 costs 120. So that's how, how those experience. If you want to go to level 7, from 7 to 8, that's 160. Uh, roll imp uh, improvements to go from 4 to 5 is 300. To go from 5 to 6 is 360. Uh, and you have to go, obviously, incrementally to each of those levels there. Oh, dope. And I'll leave you with that. And then by next week, we can, if you want to talk about what your upgrade improvements are, I just wanted to get that out there and let the stream know how we're working with that. Um, and you know what? I think I am going to, I think we should end it here for the night. It's getting way later. We started late <laughs> and uh, uh, still learning how the pacing of this goes. So, uh, Thank you everybody for watching episode three. Yeah, thank you everyone. Appreciate synthetic it. Synthetic dreams. I am having so much Thanks fun doing in. this. It's so uh, fun. Really I'm excited about this. We've got two <laughs> more episodes left. Um, for Four our housekeeping, uh, Sunday, six p.m. Pacific, nine p.m. Eastern, uh, finale of Cold Blooded, uh, and this Monday, June twelfth, the start of our new Tales of Thunder game, uh, Stormbeard's Thunder. Uh, at 6 30 p.m <laughs> pacific or 9 30 eastern and uh uh there was another one uh First warhammer Sunday. no uh, uh hunter hunter, 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 hunter the, the reckoning. reckoning hunter the reckoning oh i'm sorry game that's the wrong one i was like yes. War warhammer that's what good. was it called again <laughs> uh a heavy price a heavy price let me write this down um, this is our, uh if you uh, follow us on twitter you sh price. you probably saw the announcement go out um, it's Thursdays, right? Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Um, if you were a fan of our Ancestral Blood Vampire the Masquerade miniseries, um, Hunter the Reckoning takes place in the same universe. You are just regular Joe Schmo humans who are hunting uh, other unnatural creatures. And uh, we, might, uh, we might see some uh, Lysander cameos, maybe. Ooh! Wait, am I playing in this? Usually <laughs> <laughs> says, "Wait, am I Dorian in this?" Wait, hold on, <laughs> I'm Alexander. Um, okay, and yeah, everybody, please uh, check us out on socials. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on TikTok. Join our Discord server, uh, and uh, and please support us. Uh, you know, tell everybody about the show. Uh, give us donations so we can get more art, and uh, and uh, give us a follow. Thank you, everybody, for watching this episode, and. Uh, have a great night. Good Take night, care, everyone. everybody. Join Thank the Discord so if you want to see spicy omen and reverie art. I have some oh, in there. Oh, God. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. Oh, boy. Good night. <laughs> Bijan, don't forget. <laughs>